Hey, what's up, ecosystem? Welcome back to Auto Transport Intel. Fuel, insurance, maintenance, tires. There are clearly times when being the member of a group, it helps owners obtain the important ingredients of running a successful transport business. And by also providing a knowledge center of information and communication, plus the strength in numbers for the power of a deal. For many years now, we on ATI, we've had long conversations, panel discussions, interviews about how we can all help auto transport owner operators with costs, facing challenges, and armed with an understanding of the industry as a whole. A few weeks ago, Jason Walker and Ray Moran of United Road said hello on Auto Transport Intel. And they're back tonight. And they've this time they brought Michael Riley and the NVTA mission. Also last week we had a future of auto transport panel with Beck, Dean, Marco, Derek, and Kevin. And so tonight we're gonna continue the transportation and logistics panel discussion journey with Paul Machine, Tim Scoutalis, Mike Buchanan, Mark Grodeke, and Ty Thompson. The show has two parts tonight. So please join the live chat, ask your questions, share your thoughts, grow your business, because it's Tuesday nights live on Auto Transport Intel. I'm Jay, your host. Welcome back to the show. <music> Intel. It is Tuesday night and it is time for the big show. This is it. This is Tuesday nights live on Auto Transport Intel. But wait, if this is your first time here, I want you to feel welcome. Please do feel welcome. Everybody's welcome here. Brokers, carriers, dispatchers, dealers, auction reps, insurance agents are welcome here. This is Auto Transport Intel and I want you to say hello. Please Say hello in the live chat. Mike, check one, two, three. Let me know who you are, what you're doing, promote your company, share your link, share your phone number, make a friend, do whatever, do whatever will help you grow your business and network and connect. That's what we're doing here. And so, and at the quarter hour, we're going to go into industry news. Uh, that's national news, social media news, front of the store, back of the store, what's being talked about. Auto transport, tech, car shipping trends, vehicle logistics news. Amazing segment. It's long, it's informative, it's important. And then, at about the 40-minute mark, I'm going to bring in Jason Walker, COO at United Road. He's back, and he's got some information. And so we're going to talk for a few minutes, and then we're going to bring in Michael Riley and Ray Moran. We're going to talk about what is NVTA. We're going to find out together what is NVTA. If you, get, if you have a guess, put it in the live chat. If you got information to share, whether it's now or later, share it. As they say, send it. <laughs> then, the second half of the show, 
at about an hour and 20 minutes from now. We're going to go into the vehicle shipping forecast panel with Paul Machine, Tim Scoutalis, Mike Buchanan, Mark Rodeke, and Ty Thompson. This is a two-part show, and that way I can I can live up to the two-hour promise. <laughs> this is It is automotive late night here on Auto Transport Intel, and we're so glad you're here with us, so do me a favor. Oh, Yes, I need you to I need you to I need your help. After you leave a like, thank you so much. You see that share button below the video, you click share, which takes you to copy, you click copy, which takes you to that YouTube link. You copy that. Text it, email it, share it on social media. You got two hours. Send it to a friend, send it to somebody stuck at a truck stop, stuck in a cubicle, stuck in an airport. I don't know where you are. But, uh, and let me know in the live chat. That's awesome. we got people rolling in. That's so cool. Uh, yes, share it. Do that. And if you're just, you man, what is going on? You don't even know where to start. Go to autotransportintel.com. Click on sign up. Become an ATI insider. I'll tell you what, next week we have a car shipping roundtable. If you get signed up for the ATI insider, you can join us on the roundtable. That's going to be awesome. Stick around. We're going into the live chat. And I want to talk to you. Are you completely stressed out from all the calls and the contracts and the verification of loads when nobody answers the phone? Call Murphy Auto Dispatch Services today. Murphy Auto Dispatch Services has over 15 years of experience in the transport industry. We are your office while you are on the road. We book, we verify, and we bill out your loads for you. We have an excellent accounting staff and an even better dispatch team. Give us a call today at 417-273-273. 0021. Or if you want to email me, it's Murphy Auto Transport 31 at yahoo.com. Give us a call today. That is the voice of Sue. She is she runs a dispatch office, Murphy Auto Transport Services. And she's a fully licensed broker as well. She's my co-host on Thursdays. Are you looking for a dispatcher? I get that question a lot. I get two questions a lot. I'm looking for a dispatcher. Can you recommend one? Or I want to be a dispatcher. I buffering. I think we're back. Okay. So now it's time to go into the live chat. Let's do that. Now I got to back it up to the top. You're seeing the live chat on the screen. Feel free to type and extend it. But I'm going back to the beginning. Ty is here. Cars on the move. Is this where I get my car hauling intel? It is, Ty. Thank you so much, buddy. I see that. I see that. Well, he's already... Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a two-parter. Tonight is a two-for-one on the cowbell. If you if you post a super chat, I'll give you a two-for-one cowbell. Just to, tonight only. <laughs> One night only. Mark Grodeke, hey Ty, you're in the right place. What's up, Mark Grodeke? Superflow Systems, Carlos Braxton, ACB Logistics. Did, did ACB Logistics? Did I mention that Carlos is part of the core? Thank you so much, Carlos. And we'll see you next week on the uh, what is what are we calling it? Super Spreader Roundtable. <laughs> oh man, John Garofalo's here. What's up, John Garofalo? Finest towing and recovery. Getting to know the community. I'm loving it. Uh, Chris Chamberlain is here. What's going on, Chris Chamberlain? Oh, Kimberly is here in the live chat. Thank you, Kimberly. Welcome to Tuesday Nights Live with your host, Jay. I'm Jay. I'm your host. And Paul Machine is here. Hola, amigos. E amigas. What's going on? Abdi is here. Knucklehead27. Saludos. BM. Hey, all. What's up? Silverman. I have my popcorn and my Reese's mini, mini peanut butter cups. Nice. It's... <laughs> At did Silverman's sitting in a movie theater and it and it and auto transport intel's up on the big screen. Okay, and going again? Okay. I think that, that is one tough prop to use. Uh let's see here. Cornell Howard. Hey, what's up? Cornell Howard is here. Looking forward to hearing about NVTA. Me too, Cornell. Me too. Uh, let's see, Eddie N. Hey, everybody, first time, long time listener, first time caller, Eddie N. That's it, you know. I ham it up. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit much. 
Bart Landon is here. What's up? Landon's Auto Transport. Danny B is here. What's up, Danny B? Wendy Delta, Delta Auto Transport. Thank you guys so much. And I like it when you when you mention your company names. You know, share the phone number, the URL, the email address. What's the promotion? Where, you know, where do you get a good beef sandwich? Put it in the live chat. John Cochran, LAI tra Auto Transport from DC. Cool. John, I was just mentioning today. I want to see you at the Super Spreader. John's like, what? Uh, Mike Buchanan is here. What's going on? Woot, woot. Ray Moran. Awesome from United Road. Thanks, Ray, for saying hello and tuning in and joining the live chat. By the way, Mike, check. How are we? Are we okay? Check, check. I think we're good. I never want to be too loud. I want the porridge just right. Also, there's the links to Murphy Auto Transport Services. And thank... Oh, there it is. See, I told you. There's your two-for-one on your Super Chats, one night only. Um, went through that live chat pretty fast, actually. Probably, I have a couple extra minutes. If anybody has something, you know, specific to say in the live chat, I know I kind of kind of glazed over. Yes, and you know what's... Yeah, I like what you said, Mark. Eddie, glad you found ATI. Yeah, you know what? We are, we're seeing... We're seeing on all the shows, and I don't know if it's because of all the shows or what it is, but we're seeing more new people on a regular basis. And that doesn't mean you're new people, right? And it just means that, you know, we're lucky to have you. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for saying hello. And please feel free to do that. And you know, I know, there's plenty of people watching, not going to say hello, and that's totally cool. You do not have to do that. Um, the email goes out on Tuesday mornings. Let's see, I got two separate email blasts. I also promoted on LinkedIn. So whether you came in through the email blast, you came in through LinkedIn, um, you know, that's cool. Oh, hey, there's more. Wow. Here we go. Wow. There's your two for one. Mark Grodeke in here with the live chat. By the way, I, you know what? I guess I didn't see it all. Um, BM says, please remember to hit the like button. You will laugh. You will learn. You will leave. No, that's, I don't think that's the way it's supposed to go. I'm just kidding. That is really funny. Thank you so much, BM. I really appreciate that. Man. In fact, you know what? You know what BM gets tonight in the live chat? Here we go. Thank you so much, BM. Uh, to the moon, says Mike Buchanan. And Bart and Ray and Paul. Oh, Amanda Christine McGregor. Good evening, all. Hey, Mark. Amanda from United Road. What's up, Amanda? Thanks for tuning in and saying hello. That's awesome. Uh, Leonardo Froder, F1 Auto Transport. What's going on? Cool, man. Felton Taylor is here. Hello, guys. Felton Taylor here. Sitting in for the first time. Long time listener. <laughs> I, I can't... Right? I can't get away from it. Some things you just can't... Uh, John Cochran. Oh, good. You be there. Awesome. That's fantastic. Check in with Ty. Please do do that. Uh, you got to check in with Ty to make sure you get your pass to the uh, super spreader. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. So, oh, Darude one. New level transport. What's going on? Thank you for, for mentioning that. And Joel Hawk. Uh, I Widow 3, is it? Hey, guys. I'm taking off my Black Widow hat. Oh, nice. Putting on my paid Chevy hat. Nice. Transporters take care of your dealers. That's great, man. That is wonderful. Tom Ronikowski. Hey, all. Tammy from United Road. Oh, it's Tam. Thank you, Tam. Double O Rotary. Hello, SNR Towing and Transport. San Diego, what is going on? Golden Child. No way. Thank you so much. Wow. So there's a two for one here. Ah. <laughs> uh... Uh, just a dad, Chris from United Road. Awesome. David Miller. Hello, Ray and Tammy. Tam, you got, so we got some United Road folks in here. So I told you there was a two for, so this one's the Golden Child and Superflow. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Carlos Braxton. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, thank you so much. Hello all. Eduardo with United Road says hello. Khaled. Shamali, hey buddy, what's up, man? That's awesome. Gosh, thank you guys so much. And Carlos, there we go. Wow. 
Thank you so very much. That is incredible. And you know, all the Super Chat contributions, checking in, what's up, Ron? All the Super Chat contributions go back into the channel. Um, you know, the channel, it is a lot of work. Really, uh, there's so many other things I'm trying to get to do, get around to. Um, and merch is one of them. So just hang in there. And, you know, thank you so much for being part of our core, saying hello, sharing information, and, and let us know, how can we help you? Can, what can we do for you? Send us an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. Put it in the live chat, and somebody will help me take notes because we do want to help. We want to get to your questions, information, company information, um, and, uh, and yeah, we do. We really want to do that. So, all right, here we are. We made it. It's time for some industry news. Do me a favor. Oh, here we go. Nina with Suprema Freight Solutions. Oh, Nina's going to be on the Super Spreader next week. Talk to Ty. Truly amazing. Wow. Shout out. That's that's awesome. Thank you so much. That's super cool. And thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Guys, do me a favor. Stick around. We are going to be right back. Superflow Systems is excited to introduce DispatchCenter.com a full-service load board for brokers, shippers, carriers, and drivers, featuring integrations with Truckify mobile app and iTruckPay. Use Route Scout technology to build your routes. Maximize truck capacity. Stay loaded at the highest available revenue with the least amount of driving miles. Tell us your lanes. Loadification will alert you to new loads posting in your route. Views instant load notifications sent with BookNow features Search and book loads directly through the Truckify mobile app. Brokers and shippers, post your loads to Dispatch Center. Give authorized carriers the opportunity to instantly book your loads. Dispatch Center powers the Truckify mobile app, allowing instant load assignment to the driver. Truckify will send inspection reports, geolocated pickup and delivery photos, BOLs, and invoices back to the broker. Brokers, shippers, carriers, and drivers, Dispatch Center, and Truckify have what you need to be more profitable every day. So you go to DispatchCenter.com, you click on Login, or you click on Sign Up, go in there, you're going to see some new features, so don't be missing out. If you're missing out, well, that's okay. I mean, here's what you do. Go into the live chat. Mark Grodeke is here. He's in the live chat with Superflow Systems. There's your email, uh, your uh, dispatchcenter.com link. Go to Superflow Systems. Ask a question. Find out how Superflow and Dispatch Center can help you. Ron at Traffic Inc. What is going on, Ron? My mom always told me to share. Well, that was so nice. Thank you so much. And you know what, Ron? Wait for it. We got a two for one. <laughs> oh my gosh, and Eddie's in here. What's going on? This is getting crazy. <laughs> you guys just want to see me ring a cowbell all night? Awesome. This is episode 140, Ringing the Cowbell All Night with National Vehicle Transporters Alliance. Oh, I said it was a two for one. Here we go. Eddie, there's your second helping. Thank you so very much. Um, really appreciate that. Ron, did you get your... I think you did. Okay, National Vehicle Transporters Alliance is... What you want to do, go to GoNVTA.org. You know what, Ron is such an old part of the core. Thank you so much, Ron. Ron likes to remind me he was here really, like from the early days when it was, you know, just painful. Um, so we're going to learn about National Vehicle Transporters Alliance, and that is really cool. Uh, I want to share this. So this is the logo, National Vehicle Transporters Alliance. You're going to look for that. Be on the lookout. 
because you're going to learn a lot more about it. We're going to learn about it tonight. What we got is we got Jason Walker and Ray Moran. They were here a few weeks ago. They're back tonight to talk about the good news. We're going to learn more about that. I do want to say shout out to last week's panel, The Future of Auto Transport. That was a great show. And the reason, so we're taking those two shows, making one big combined two-part show services and carriers shippers and loads that's what we're going to be talking a lot about tonight if if you're not interested in any of that you're in the wrong place okay uh, you're not in the wrong place you're in the right place we go front of the store back of the store back of the store transport parking lot front of the store that's where they sell the cars and need them to get moved asap and back and forth we go it is the year of the hybrid Physical meets digital. You know how this goes. So you got a packed physical auction. Okay, the place is packed. It's packed. And you've got more and more happening on the digital side. Where physical meets digital, you got it. That's why Ty is in Clubhouse going off and talking about digital. He's talking to the dealers. He's connecting dealers, auctions, and carriers. Find Ty Thompson at Ty Transport Guy on Clubhouse. Do it. Um, all right. Let's talk about some of the background of how we got here. Okay. You ready? Okay. So uh, in 2019, I was live at, okay, Auto Haulers Association of America. Me and Ty were there. So we talked to AHA. I've had IATA on the show, Independent Auto Transporters Alliance. Ziggy and I talked about IATA. I had Bob Farrell on the show from ATA talking about the Automobile Carriers Conference. And I've interviewed Louis Pugh of OIDA. All right? And so we have talked to many about different organizations. So tonight, what is NVTA? We're going to talk about that. We're going to learn what is NVTA. Say it. What is NVTA? Type it. Okay. All right. So, and also after we do that, we're going to bring in, you know, I've got Paul Machine, friend of the show. He's with Black Book, putting out great content. You, you know Black Book. They've been on the show. We've had several shows with Paul and Black Book on the show. Then Tim Scoutalis, he's doing his own content live from a service drive. You got to check this out. Tim at Max Digital. Max Digital's been on the show. Tim Scoutalis, friend of the show. And also, Tim is now on the Melting Block of Ice uh, once a month on the last Friday of the month on Cars on the Move on a Friday. Mike Buchanan, he's a new friend of the show. Mike is with ARI, and he's putting out content. Thank you, Mike. ARI was on the show as well. Mike and Peter. That was a great show with Black Book. And then Mark Grodeke. He's in the live chat as well. Mark at Superflow Systems. We've done... We, oh, the Alexa demo. That was awesome. So Mark is already in here. And Larry. Mark is the genius behind Larry. Or is it the other way around? So thank you, Mark, for Larry. And this is how you get your car shipping news, by the way. You watch Auto Transport Intel on Tuesday night. You get your popcorn. You get your mini Reese's. Get hypnotized. Join us. Get the Auto Transport Business News. Put it up on the big screen. Hey, Eddie's sitting in a theater right now. <laughs> like surround sound. Good timing on that. Because here's what I want to know. Are you a car shipping guru? Get ready. Here we go. What is the most appropriate carrier pay to ship a 2015 Ford Fiesta from Fairhope, Alabama to Burbank, Illinois? So, uh, now, Larry is, is pretty spot on. So, he, he, he enjoys being tested. This is the rate that will get it moved. It's not the cheapest rate. It's not the highest rate. But it's right in there given the parameters of the day. So again, what you want to do is go to dispatchcenter.com forward slash ask Larry. There it is. It's in the live chat. There's the link, dispatchcenter.com forward slash ask Larry. If you're one of the few first people 
to submit all correct answers, there is a prize. Now, I got a hat. Let me show you. I got, a, I, got, I got two hats, right? You might win two hats. Tell him what he's won, Bob. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next. The shape of a stop sign has how many sides? Okay, because they can't all be, you know, really hard. All right, here we go. We're moving on. Really, Jay? What is the most appropriate carrier pay to ship an 07 Nissan Altima from South El Monte, California to Martinsville, Virginia? Survey says... Okay, see, I don't think I can do that stuff. It's not that kind of, it's not that kind of show, Jay. Here we go. Backup cameras became a requirement in all newly manufactured vehicles in what year? 2000, 2015, 2018, or 2020. Ooh, Bogey Joe Sr.'s in here. What's going on? Hey, Bogey Joe, you got it. <laughs> uh, one more. Here we go. Ready? Don't forget. Go to dispatchcenter.com forward slash ask Larry. Submit your answers, and while you're there, run a route scout. You'd be amazed. Here we go. What is the most appropriate carrier pay to ship a 2015 Lincoln MKX from Lacey, Washington to Dover, New Hampshire? Yow. That is a long trip. Okay, so that's it. Now, what we'll do is we will reveal the answers on Thursday. So you've got a couple days to get your... Well, don't wait. Just do it right now. Just s submit it right now. Although, I, I'm going to guess, man, I think there might be a stumper in one of those carrier move questions. So good job. Great job, Larry. Thank you so much. Do be sure. Go sign up. Go to autotransportintel.com. Click on sign up. Become an ATI insider, and Ty is gonna tell you why. And I'm gonna take a uh, I'm gonna take a quick break here, and we're gonna be right back. Hey, it's Ty, transport guy, hanging out in the transport parking lot always. If you want to learn to grow your business, I think you should probably go to ATI Insider, sign up for free, don't give anybody any money. Uh, and with that, you get, uh, I don't know, I think you get a 20 minute phone call, which usually turns into a little longer than that. You get to join the round table, uh, which is once a month. And at the round table, what we do is we get pretty detailed about how to build your business, how to connect with dealers, how to connect with auctions, how to build a lane. So if you're new, if you saw a YouTube video and says, I can make a million dollars in a week and I want to get into car hauling, Ty, and maybe you own a stinger, maybe you own a little rollback. Man, how do I figure this out? Should I buy this? Should I buy that? What do I need? How do I do it? You get to make relationships with other carriers. It's kind of not a one size fits all. It's here a little bit about you. Go to the ATI Insider, get signed up. I can help you. I really can. He can help you and he will help you live next week. And you're right, it's not 140. Oh my gosh. How did I get that wrong? This is not episode 140. Do you know what number it is? How did, that, wow, that's that's so weird. I just had to look it up. It's it's episode 184. Yeah, there it is. Mark says it's not episode 140, though. Yeah, it's 184. Oh, man, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I'll tell you what, a lot of crazy things are happening now. This There's something, I don't know. I think we have liftoff. Um, and I, and I got to tread lightly, otherwise um, uh, half the people will leave. I never talk about that stuff anymore. Never never look at the ratings. Okay, uh, wow. Let's get back to the second half of the news. Here we go. CarMax to acquire all of Edmunds' $404 million deal in a $404 million deal. That is a big deal. And I know that, I know Tim and Paul, well, maybe everybody tonight is going gonna, is gonna to want to touch upon that and why that's a big deal. So take your notes, right? You got your, here you got your, that's what you get your pen, get your pen and your, or, you know, or use your mobile device, Jay. This is 2021 after all. But anyways, that's a big deal. Wow. 
Uh, in fact, here it is. CarMax, largest used car retailer in the U.S. Wow, the largest used vehicle retailer in the U.S. Wow. Said the full acquisition will let the two companies speed up their respective efforts towards delivering an enhanced digital experience. There it is. <laughs> Leveraging Edmunds content technology and benefiting from CarMax's national scale and infrastructure. Hybrid much? <laughs> Uh, the two companies have since jointly developed an online instant offer tool for sellers of used autos. Oh, and that's another thing. Paul loves to talk about that, right? Because if it, if your if supply is tight and prices are up, where are you going to get your cars that are going to make you a better profit? Hmm? Anybody? U.S. auto, and then how does that affect the transporter? Oh, by golly. U.S. auto industry calls for government help on chip shortage. Now that's interesting. Uh-huh. Global semiconductor shortage could result in 1.28 million fewer vehicles built this year. Disrupt production another six months. Ouch. Uh, seeking $37 billion in funding. Okay. Man, we'll never get this thing paid back. The group represents nearly all major automakers. Okay. I'm just... Just... just do, Jay... Just read the news, okay? Just read. Chargers everywhere. Biden maps 174 billion path for the EV boom. Chargers everywhere. Okay? Even on the truck. Tesla owner harassed after praising a mach -E. <laughs> Oh, come on. What? That's, oh. That sounds just like us. Why shares in AutoZone soared 21% in March? That's really interesting. Auto parts retailer, wow! Look at that. Somebody's selling some used auto parts. Paul, uh, Tesla shares jump as much as seven percent after first quarter sales surge. Once again, look, Tesla on Friday reported it delivered 184,000 plus vehicles and produced 180,000 plus cars in the first quarter 2021. Wow, they delivered more than they produced. Intense. It was a record-beating quarter, topping the 180,000-plus deliveries the company recorded in the fourth quarter of last year. Dang. Wow. Yeah, that's why Tesla... That's why Tesla is... Uh, I don't know. How do, you, how, do you, how do you fill in that gap? Blank. Social Auto Transport rebrands company to Hop Drive. In case you didn't hear, Hop Drive easily moves cars... Short distances. You got, I got a grind in there. Hop drive. Okay. Hop drive easily moves cars short distance from the automotive space, helping vehicles get from the car hauler to the store. Ooh, they said car hauler. It applies. Hop drive quickly gets vehicles where they need to be without expensive heavy-duty car haulers or tow trucks. I know. I know. Lots of questions, but hey, that's, you know, it's part of the news. Dear car companies, enough with the separate freight fee. It's an it's an opinion piece. Interesting. Okay. Uh, that's what we got here. Just so we're clear. I'm certainly not suggesting car companies should absorb the cost associated with shipping their vehicles, but there's simply no reason such a hefty and non-negotiable fee, usually anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500, depending on the make and model, shouldn't be included in the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Really? Otherwise, always going to be roughly two grand surprise lurking in the shadows. Interesting. There's no reason that can't be done, even with the charge included in the sticker price. A more cynical person might even say it affords automakers the flexibility to eke out even more money. Huh. Well, you might want to ask the transporter about this one. Hyundai is on the right track towards bucking the trend with its premium brand Genesis... And then uh, more uh, more discussion on that. But, I mean, that's really interesting. In fact, here's another one. This is another interesting opinion. I mean, I guess, well, there's some fact in here, but there's definitely some opinion, too. Ten most expensive destination charges. That's good. Everyone who buys a new vehicle pays a delivery fee, but the rate varies, and these automakers charge the most. Okay. Anybody want to guess which automakers charge the most? Is it Kia? You know, is it Nissan? All right. We've compiled a list of the 10 most expensive delivery fees. Don't worry, I'm not going to go through all 10. Because after the first few, it's going to be obvious. But here's the question that's asked. 
What makes shipping these vehicles two to three times more expensive than the mainstream ones? It's a great question. We asked several automakers, but they declined to discuss the topic. Or they just thought, what? Because <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking what? Okay, why is this next automaker charging two to three more times for transport? Anybody? Okay. Next. Oh, wow. That was tough. And okay. So basically what I'm getting at is, you know what, by the way, while that transport fee may be two to three times more because you don't really want that thing on the back of whatever you want it enclosed. Actually, if you look at the, the transport fee as a, as a percentage of the vehicle value, actually it went down. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to strictly follow, you, you get what I'm saying. All right. Let's just keep moving. I don't want to get frustrated. I don't have time for this. Auto Transport Intel goes live four times a week. Tuesday night's live. This is the big show. Thank you so much for being here and saying hello in the live chat. I really do appreciate it. DOT Compliance, join us tomorrow live at noon for 30 minutes. Let's talk about your new authority. Let's talk about uh, tickets at the scales. In fact... Uh, yeah, what do we got? Yeah, so tomorrow at noon? Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> here's one. We're gonna be talking about this. Hey guys, I need an attorney recommendation that can help me fight a bogus overweight ticket in Connecticut, although I have a CDL. And so we're gonna talk about that. What happened? Brian Riker is the man. If you haven't heard Brian Riker talk about DOT compliance, you are missing out. Don't miss out. Join us at noon. On noon on Thursday, load board search advice where, you know what we do? We do fun stuff like muggo problems. That's right. We, we're either counting fat stacks or we're rolling the dice and counting the problems. Join us on Thursdays at noon. Man, I love that show. Crazy. And then Friday, Cars on the Move, Dealers, Auctions, and Carriers. Friday's at noon. That's with Ty. Ty is in the live chat. Ty will be here soon. He connects Dealers, Auctions, and Carriers. Ty, sure hope we get that guest on Friday. Um, because we have some, man, we've already had some great guests. In fact, uh, Friday we had Nick from Go For It app. And uh, we saw this on Facebook. It was already two years ago. We were talking about ACV auctions. So we did that on Friday. That was cool. And uh join us for the super spreader roundtable next tuesday night if you want to talk about growing your business you want to tell what's going wrong what's going right you need help it just this is a great opportunity to be live on camera with everybody else talking about different problems different business models one car nine car no car join us on the super spreader new vehicle shipping by rail is in two weeks that is going to be awesome so bring your questions and buckle in. This is the Car Shipping Business Channel. Darn it! It's 8.38. I think I'm right on time, which is really crazy. Um, so I'll tell you what. If you're in the Jason, Ray, and Michael, if you're in the waiting room, I'm going to be there in a second. Um, it's all going so quickly. My head is spinning. How's everybody doing? Is everybody okay? Did we get through industry news? <laughs> Oh man, we got some LOLs and we got we got Lambo and Bentley and I mean, right? Like, oh my god, I can't even talk about it. My veins are gonna pop out of my neck. But you know why it's important? Here's what's great. It's such a great example of man, we really need to explain things to each other. Because the difference between how expensive this business is and how hard it is to just know everything ahead of time is exactly the opposite of what the customer expects this to be like. You know, hey, I what I hit the button. I ordered my car. Where is it? And why is it so much? So, anyways, that's what we're here for. All right, we want to help. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, oh, stick around because right after this, we're gonna be live with Jason Walker, COO of United Road. You're not gonna want to miss it.
cool, right? Yes, very cool. Very cool indeed. Okay, so we're almost there. Final preparations. Oh, I think that, uh, okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring Jason in. We're gonna talk for a few minutes and kind of set the stage and the background for what it is that we're talking about tonight. Again, United Road was here, it was three weeks ago. And so now Jason is back and he's going to help us all uh, understand what's what's next. The next chapter, here we go. Jason, can you see me and hear me okay? I, I can see you and I hear you. Can you hear me? I can see you, I can hear you. And um, I think we're off to a running start. So okay. th thanks so much for taking the time, putting together this opportunity to, to share some more good news. Uh, I'm, I'm going to just hand it over to you, Jason. What what are we doing tonight? So I'll say I'll say this, Jay. Um, you know, when we talked uh, a while back, we were talking about uh, Holly. Holly Pro, and we announced our Carrier of the Year. You know, first time we, you know, we you know, did a Carrier of the Year at, at United Road and Holly, and uh, we we thought it uh, we, enough of your show and you to come on on your show and to do that, you know, you know, a groundbreaking event for United Road, and so we wanted to do that again tonight. You know, uh, and I want to take you back a little bit into you know 2020. You know, as you know. Um, not only was our industry, but I mean, our entire country was rocked by everything that happened with the, the COVID induced shutdown. Right. Um, and, uh, United road, certainly we, we are very blessed, um, blessed to have, um, you know, an organization that uh, was able to weather that storm, you know, better than most. But one of the things, it, and I said on, you know, said on your show a couple of weeks ago that we are, you know, certainly a big carrier, but we are, we realize that our success and in large part depends on our carriers that, you know, carrier partner success as well. And uh, we really believe that. And what we saw in 2020, probably the begin, and I'll say this, it, it, it predates COVID. And so we talk a lot about what happened with COVID, but even before COVID hit, we saw that uh, there were a number of carriers that were beginning to drop out of the car haul business. Uh, many of them were just folding the doors some of them were choosing to um, change their line of business and saying, you know what, uh, I can't afford to you know, work in car hall. I think I heard you say earlier tonight on the show talking about this is an expensive business. Um, and that our, you know, many of the in, in consumers expect you know, our prices and our costs you know, to continue to go down, but our costs are going up. And you know this, everyone on your show watching knows this as part of this business. And... Uh, Many of um, our carrier partners were, were, were buckling under these costs. Uh, at the beginning of last year, like I said, prior to COVID, we saw a number of carriers getting out of the car haul business because insurance rates were just beginning to go through the roof. We as United Road were starting to see our own insurance rates, you know, um, you know, to, you know saw those rise. And uh, we, you know, we were able to negotiate some different things and, and try to keep our costs in line. But uh, we realized that our ability to do that was in large part because of our size um, and um, in the scope that we have as United Road. And we started seeing these carriers start folding uh, and leaving the car haul business because of insurance rates. Um, and so at that point in time, we started thinking, hey, you know, what can we do to, to help? Uh, then COVID came, you know, around this time last year, everybody was shutting, shutting down and kind of um, uh, boarding, up the, boarding up the window, so to speak, to kind of weather the storm and we saw, you know, carriers, you know, beginning you know, to fall out of the marketplace at an increasing rate. Um, and we st took a step back and said, hey, what can, what can we do to help? Um, because, you know, being a, a, a large uh, player in this industry and being an influence in the industry, um, we felt it coming upon us to, uh, to take action. And so... So out of that, and, uh, you know, we, we had the idea of taking a lot of the benefits that we have as a large organization and saying, how can we, how can we bundle that together to help our carrier partners, um, you know, uh, reduce their costs so that they can move, you know, you know move freight at a more competitive rate. Um, so that, and quite frankly, Jay, so that they can stay in business. Um, and from that, um, we are, uh, we're proud to announce today, you know, the launching of a, a new, um, sister company for United Road, uh, a company by the name of National Vehicle Transport Alli Transporters Alliance. 
Um, and this you know, new company exists to really serve small to mid-sized carriers and take some of the benefits that, that we've seen and enjoyed um, and allow those things to flow over to, um, to small to mid-sized carriers and really give them the opportunity to operate in, uh, under a cost structure in some, in, in some regards uh, as a larger carrier by cobbling together um, you know, those resources. So, uh, so we're really excited. Um, prior to doing this, we've held um, a number of, uh, we surveyed our you know, many, many carriers that are on, on Holly of which we have, you know, greater than, you know, four, you know, we have greater than 4,000 carriers that are on Holly. Um, and we worked with uh, a, another company within the United Road family of companies. It's called Team Drive Away. Um, and, you know, you know worked with, you know, understand who their carriers are. And um, we did a survey, said, what, what is it that you need? Um, we held focus groups and tell us a little bit more about some of the things that you guys shared with us through a survey. And um, three things came out as a principal area of need. Um, number one was insurance. And carriers saying, hey, listen, we have got to find a way to be able to purchase insurance at a, at a, at a, at a lower rate. You, you know, if there's something you can do to help us do that, great. Um, we expected, Jay, we expected fuel to be number two. Um, but that didn't play, it didn't play out that way. Um, what we began hearing was many carriers saying, you know, between the hours of eight to five, my truck breaks down. I know who to call. I got a guy, I got somebody that can call to come fix my truck. But when my truck breaks down at two o'clock in the morning, where do I go? Who do I call? Am I just going to sit and wait until the guys that I know that can fix my truck come in? Do I just go on Google and search for a tow truck? Um, and so we identified that, okay, there's, you know, you know, you know, a, you know, a, a need for a road for roadside assistance for, for some of these carriers. And so that came out as a, kind of a, a, a number two item. And then number three was a, is there a way to purchase fuel, you know, any cheaper? Um, and certainly that's something that, um, United Road has dealt with, with many of our you know, independent contractors and trying to help our independent contractors purchase fuel cheaper. Uh, and developing networks for our independent contractors. Um, and we said, hey, if we can you know, develop networks for our independent contractors, is there something that we can do similar to that for, um, for our partner carriers? So those are the three things that really came out um, of the focus groups and surveys. And from that, we said, you know, let's build out a, a, a larger platform to um, better service um, our partner carriers. And so that's, what, that's how uh, national, the, the National Vehicle Transporters Alliance was born or as we like to call NVTA. Um, and, um, you know, Jay, as you and I talked, I mean, we certainly wanted to take this opportunity to um, unveil this tonight um, before we um, unveil it to the rest of the world, you know, you know, tomorrow. Wow. Well, I appreciate that. And, uh, and there's a lot in there. You know, one of the things you just made me think of is, uh, I know from dispatching is, the, uh, much of the driving happens after hours. Yeah. Right? And that's when you are now somewhere different, and that's yeah. when you have your, your maintenance problem and you need roadside assistance. Really great points. And I can't imagine how much research went into. Uh, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, say that, yeah. I'll say this. We, you know, this is something we, we began, you know, um, you know, thinking about uh, at the end of um, – I'd say at the end of 2019, we began thinking about this, um, certainly as, in relation to um, what's going on out in California, AB5, um, and trying to you know, begin, and that's what really kind of started us down this path um, and saying, how can we, can, how can we help? How can we help small carriers? You know, you hear statistics like 60 to 70% of, um, of uh, new carriers uh, fail uh, for one reason or another. And while we cannot, you um, or you don't have an answer yet for all the reasons why carriers may not be successful. Um, there's some areas where we can help. And so, you know, it was, I'll tell you this, I was a bit ambitious. You know, like I said, we started talking about this in uh, the end of 2019 and uh, it was my hope to have this, you know, launched by um, the beginning of the third quarter of 2020. Um, but as we dug into it, you know, and found that there was a host of, uh, of little details that we needed to shore up. Um, you know, getting some of the partners on board to uh, be able to offer these services and getting everything to together is really kind of what drove us to the point of 
of being able to make this announcement now. Well, yeah, and too, I mean, with the scope of what, you know, the, the mission, the scope of the mission, <laughs> I can see why it took a long yeah. time. Yeah, Absolutely. Um, and yeah, I mean, you mentioned, I took a, I took this, I, you know, I'm always taking notes and I take a bunch of notes, you know, great, great point. Pre-COVID, we already had enough problems. Yeah. Then you add that and that really did, it pushed, it broke many companies that were, you know, on the pivot. Um, and then the AB5, that is another, that is, it's amazing how legislation changes can yeah. alter the landscape of, of what business is. Um, right. So it's, it is, it's fascinating stuff. I'll tell you what, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to commercial or anything. I'm just going to, Oh, I'm hopping over to the live chat. And while I do that, I'm going to bring in, um, we're going to bring in Ray and, um, and Michael here in a second. In fact, I'm going to start bringing them in and I see some great comments in the live chat. John is talking about how for him, diesel's number one. And that's another thing you could see yeah. how your, your number one, number two or number three could, could be different, but really those, I would think those are the top three. Yeah. Um, yeah. and so I, would, I guess without any further ado, they're here. Oh, here, let me get these graphics off the screen. Dang it. Um, we have, uh, that's where I need my, um, my take two marker, but it takes too long to get it out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is 8.52 Central Time, and I want to welcome, we also have Ray Moran and Michael Riley of, uh, well, Ray, you're with United Road. Michael, you're with NVTA. Correct. Help me, do me a favor. Let's start with Ray. Ray, you've been on the show. You were on a few weeks ago. Please say hello to the audience and uh tell us a little bit more all right well uh hello jay and everyone that, that uh, on the ati channel um you know we're certainly happy to be on the show again um and you know really excited to have mike run through sort of the details um and then you know i want to highlight a couple points from from my purview and um for people that don't know me i uh, my uh, role at united road is i i manage our carrier relations uh, department um, and facilitate uh, transportation on all our third-party carriers uh, with my dispatch team. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you for that background and orientation. I appreciate you. you said it way better than I could, so I'm glad you said it. Okay, Michael, and please say hello and tell us a little bit more about yourself. Yes, hello, everybody, and uh, thanks for having me on the show. I'm excited to be here and excited to finally be able to announce uh, the National Vehicle Transporters Association, or I'm sorry, Alliance. <laughs> um I am the program manager for the NVTA, and uh, I'm hopefully going to give you guys some more information here in just a moment on uh, all the benefits that we can provide everybody. Right. So because we're going to drill down a little bit further, Jason, you gave us some background, but we've got some more specifics about um, about NVTA, National Vehicle Transporters Alliance, and that's so that is the goal. We're here. As I like to say, we're actually live, right? Yeah. So we get our bearings. I think the internet's okay. Everybody's coming through loud and clear. Um, and, uh, and, and and Kimberly, let me know if that's not the case. And so, and Jay, so, if, I, yes. if I can add, uh, yeah. Please. So I want to add something here. So we talk about uh, National Vehicle Transporters Alliance, right? And so... Some people may ask, um, you know, why is it not the National Car Haulers Alliance or Car Transporters or whatever? And so, um, and it, we did this. We did this intentionally because uh, in the United Road family of companies, you know, we have a, another company, you know, Team Drive Away, which is um, while they're not hauling cars, they're still in the vehicle hauling uh, vehicle hauling business. And so we recognize that um, that the need for the, the three basic needs that we talked about being you know, insurance, fuel, and roadside assistance. Um, those are three basic needs of not just car haulers, but any haulers. Um, you know, anybody that's in the um, in the business of uh, of, uh, of moving trucks or transporting vehicles or, uh, or you know, any trucking company. So, um, so we recognize that it's bigger than just car hauling, um, and that there are other folks in other parts of the vehicle transportation business. And we, you know, look at ourselves as a, you know, as the leading, in, you know, leading um, company within finished vehicle logistics. 
And um, we recognize that sometimes that finished vehicle logistics means that um, you're hauling, um, you know, you know, heavy haul, you're doing buses, you're doing class eight, you know, trucks. Um, and so that's why, you know, the, um, the scope of the name, the scope of the organization is, is bigger than just, you know, bigger than just car haul as well. That actually makes a lot of sense. I and mean, actually just added screen share also. So when you're ready, Michael, we'll get to that. But um, that makes a lot of sense because you're right under the umbrella. And I didn't, I didn't pull up your website, but I've been to your website and you really realize, yes, it's not just car haul. Heavy equipment, drive away. Uh, there's many. I mean, I, I couldn't say it any better than you did. So, but I'm recapping because if you're if you're out there, if you're live, if you're watching this on demand, your takeaway is this: is that there is the NVTA to help you if you've listened to what Jason was talking about as far as you see potential for your business to be some kind of trouble with expense with cost with information right you also said business resource center is that another tell me more about business resource center who wants to take that so i'll uh so i'll start and i'll kick it over to mike and, and ray but um you know as we as we're seeing the need uh, and I'll, I'll i'll take it back to um some of those focus groups that we had you know and uh, it was it was really, really eye-opening on those focus groups where we had carriers of different size, sizes talking about what their needs are. Um, and one of the things that came out of that, we began talking about insurance, Jay. And you know, one of the um, one of the carriers, she you know owns a small small company, and she said she began asking questions and saying, "Hey, so I'm hearing I need this level of insurance. Is that right? What are you guys thinking? What are you hearing?" Um, and then somebody would ask a question about, "Hey, well." Here's what I've heard about, you know, this or that and began, you know, people began, you know, swapping notes. And from that, we recognize that, you know what, there are a lot of questions out there. You know, the legislation and other things are changing, you know, by the day, by the, you know, by the week, by the month. Um, and, um, you know, we want to make sure that uh, not everyone has the opportunity to have their ear to the ground with uh, a, a risk management department or a big legal department to understand, you know, how things are changing. And so we recognize that, you know, an additional benefit that we could bring to um, member, you know, member carriers is uh, giving them some of that, um, uh, that intel that, you know, that we have, or some of the, uh, some of the resources of people that provide us information and bring that information toward, you know, forward to the members. So, um, so Mike, you know, I don't know if you want to kind of shed any more light on kind of some of the things in the business resource center. Yes. Uh, so, I actually had a quick slideshow I can uh, bring up here. Oh, perfect. Okay, uh, you should be able to, to share your screen and take away. All right. Great. All right, perfect. So, uh, National Vehicle Transporters Alliance. Um, so, I'm sure everybody is wondering, and uh, I know Jason kind of covered it already, but, you know, what is NVTA? And it is a organization that we have worked on for quite a while now to help um, find solutions and benefits to support the small to mid-sized carriers and to help them achieve their goals and their business needs. Um, you know, back when we first started uh, doing this, I think it was like 18 months ago or something around then, uh, you know, uh, as Jason was saying, we, we did a lot of focus groups, we did a lot of surveys, we tried to find out you know, what really would help and benefit transporters the most in this industry. And, uh, you know, we came up with, you know, quite a few benefits um, that we thought are really, you know, going to help out a lot of a lot of carriers out there. Uh, so I'm going to touch on a few of those benefits right now. Um, I'm, I'll go into a couple more further on in the in a couple slides here. But uh, the first one being is our knowledge center. Now, uh, anybody that signs up and joins as a member of NVTA will have access to our Knowledge Center. It is a hub of information that uh, we have, you know, we have taken uh, time to, you know, from many experts in the field, from many different areas to compile a list of articles and information that, you know, would be beneficial to anybody trying to get into, you know, auto transportation or, uh, or even just, it, just hauling in general. Um, we've divided it into uh, safety, 
business management, education and training, and equipment and maintenance um, as different sectors where these um, you know articles are all located. And it's a great source of, res uh, of information and a resource that everybody could use. Um, also, uh, another one, as uh, Jason had already mentioned, is you know when you break down on the side of the road, um, you know it's somewhere that you're not familiar with. You know who are you going to call? And so we really did. Uh, we came up with a great resource, the uh, Roadside Assistance Program. Uh, you'll have a, an access to a 24/7 uh, roadside assistance number you can call. Um, you know they'll take care of everything for you. They will find a, a record to come out and get you. They'll find you know somebody to come out and fix your truck on the side of the road. Um, and they'll do it all for a discounted rate, 10 to 30% uh, discounts off of your repairs and another 10% discount on the rates that those uh, you know, vendors would charge. That also kind of goes hand in hand with uh, our tires and parts program. Um, you know, obviously in the trucking industry, we all need to uh, keep maintenance up on our trucks. Tires, you know, get blown all the time. Um, so with this program, you'll also be able to save 40% off of your tires and another 30% off of parts, um, all depending on, you know, what kind of, you know, brands you prefer using on your truck and uh, the size of tires you use and things like that. But uh, another great resource to have. Uh, and another one that uh, a big one that, you know, we thought was going to be a little bit bigger um, is the fuel program. Uh, so we partnered with, you know, pretty much every major truck stop, you know, fuel retailer out there, um, you know, across the nation. And we've been able to sort of leverage our buying power to extend these same benefits onto the members of the NBTA. And you can save up to 50 cents a gallon on all of your fuel purchases. Um, now, these are just, a, you know, a couple, you know, a couple of the main ones that I wanted to touch on quick, um, but we do have many other ones. Um, they are all here in the next slide. And it also kind of lays out uh, the different tiers of membership that we have. Uh, so we have a classic uh, membership, which is you know available to everybody that signs up and joins NBTA. And that'll get you access to our knowledge center, um, what I was just talking about with all the articles and information on the industry, as well as um, newsletters and information that we will be providing um, you know, that we feel is most beneficial to the transportation industry. The next tier of membership we have is the plus members. And this is where you'll see a big bulk of all of the benefits. Um, so some of these I already touched on, such as the fuel discount, roadside assistance, tires and parts, but um, it goes even further than that. And we have quite a bit to offer. Um, you know, we have, we have a discounted rate on a uh, transportation management system that uh, if you have, you know, multiple trucks, multiple drivers, dispatchers, you know, it is a way to organize and keep track of all of that in one space. Uh, going further, you, you can get access to car rental discounts, hotel discounts, health and supplemental insurance, you know, office supplies, um, you name it. And we're gonna always keep try to, or keep trying to in, in, increase the list to include more benefits that are, you know, gonna help everybody. Which brings me to our uh, next tier, our premium membership, which is the one that includes the insurance. And that is, that, that one honestly is, is probably the one that's gonna save everybody the most amount of money, um, you know, in the long run. Um, but just before I go into the insurance, I wanted to point out that we are doing a introductory membership discount for any carrier that is a active United Road carrier or is an ATI viewer. And uh, Jay, I don't know if you want to maybe put this in the comments afterwards, but uh, in order to receive those discounts, uh, you just send an email to uh, nvta at gonvta.org and just let them know that, hey, you're, a, you're an ATI viewer, you're tuned into the show and you heard about a discount and somebody will reach out and make sure that you are able to get that discount. So the business, complete business insurance. Um, you know, as Jason was saying, is, is this is this was one of the main uh, main topics that we kept hearing over and over. Um, carriers were struggling to keep up with insurance as the rates were increasing. So what we've done is partnered with a company that can provide uh, the same type of coverage um, that a large carrier would receive at a discounted rate to anybody that is a member of NVTA. And those members that do uh, elect to to be a premium member will save up to 25% on all of their business insurance costs, which, you know, 
anywhere from cargo, liability, workers' compensation, I mean, you name it, and we will design a tailored policy to fit your business needs and make sure you're paying for what you need and, and you're not paying for things that you might not need. And, uh, you know, we're real excited about this. I think this will be a very, very big uh, tool and resource for anybody that joins the NVTA. Hey, and um, I'll add to this before uh, Mike goes on to the next slide. So Jay, if you if you think about, well, we don't have a, a fancy little, um, you know, gecko walking across the screen, uh, but keep in mind that gecko only saves you 15%, Jay. And so <laughs> we're saying our insurance program is gonna save you up to 25%. So um, so that's worth it, probably at least two little geckos that we gotta get Mike so yeah. we can have on his screen. So. <laughs> I'm there. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, so I bet uh, hopefully a lot of you are wondering, you know, how do you join NVTA? What are the first steps? And uh, the first step would be to make sure you are a registered carrier with United Road uh, or Team Driveaway. Um, and you can do that by going to www.holly.com. And in the upper right corner, there'll be a link to join now. You just answer a couple questions um, and, you know, that'll prompt somebody to reach out to you and make sure that you get set up and uh, become a registered carrier. And then once you are a registered carrier with United Road, you can go to www.gonvta.org. And same thing there, there'll be a link to click join now. Uh, just enter, you know, a little bit about your company and your information, and that will uh, let one of our representatives know to reach out to you and go over the details and help you get signed up and, uh, and into one of our membership plans. And without uh, further ado, I think that is all that I have for that. Uh, cool. I took away the sharing. I put us all back on the screen. Thank you for that, Michael. That was uh, that was thorough. It was specific, and I think it, it helps paint the picture. So I know we had some uh, questions in the live chat. Before we get to that, um, Ray, I can tell you've got something awesome to let us <laughs> yes, know. Yes, yes. I'm excited. I'm all excited. Right. Cool. You know, like, um, so one of the things that I think myself, my my dispatch supervisors, my dispatchers, one of our biggest points of pride um, that we have is the, the carriers and the relationships where we talked we, we talked with these carriers when they were in the business for six months. We worked with them for years, right? Decades, growing their small one truck truck fleet into 10 and 20 truck fleets, right? They start with a rollback or a wedge and now they have 10 stingers, right? And there was a point um, in the past years where inventory was enough, right? We could create lanes for them. We could pair up, minimize deadhead, right? Give them the mobile application to do that automated thing, build out Holly, get that ease of business. But, you know, with, with the changing market, that only took us two so far. And you look at the market, inventory, uh, load size are getting fragmented. Carriers are going further outside the regional zones that they, they had in the past, and they're going to spots that they have, may have not been there before. So when we looked at, you know, what were the key, what are the key things that allowed United Road to the past 30 years to start out of a garage to get to where we're at? And that is the partnerships that we built. One of the reasons we were able to build this as quick as we did and be completely confident and assured that the suppliers that we are offering up, up through this program are vetted is that they are the same resources that we use, right? These, these were the pillars that helped United Road grow from where we were to where we are today. And we have 2000 trucks on the road that are tasking the system every day. They are the fuel providers and programs that we use. They are the insurance resources that, that we have the fleet support staff that we know that works, the right repair yards, right? You talk to our, our maintenance guys and they could tell you the right, uh, the, the good shop in any area and the bad shops in all those areas. Um, you know, and when we're dispatching and a third party carrier, we call the follow up, hey, you know, we need this car tomorrow, how you doing? I broke down, right? And at that point, you can hear the stress, particularly in the smaller carriers, right? They're either building up or they're in some place new and they and we know what they're going through because we sent our guys to spots that just didn't work out. But we vet the program and these suppliers every day 
and that is what kind of gives us the confidence and allowed us to get this rolling as fast as we did. Um, you think about all the relationships that it would take if you wanted to build this up from the ground zero, and then you would have to almost test it with your customer base and garner their feedback, right? We don't need to do that because we, we leveraged the 30 years we've been doing this and we have distilled those providers down to the ones that work best for us. And I think that's, that's, the, one, that's the one key piece that uh, you know, really makes me most excited. It, you need more than inventory to really be successful out there. And yes, you want to certainly um, help the ones, the 60 to 70% uh, of carriers that don't make it six months or don't make it a year. And the best way to do it is have the agenda and the intention for them to grow. Give them the partnerships and resources from ground zero and couple that up with Holly and, and the ease of use. So, yep. you know, I, I really think that's, that's, that's the recipe. 60 to 70% is a big number. I mean, right. Yeah. Obviously that's, I mean, what I should say is big percentage, but I mean, that's when you take as a percentage, do, do we know what some of those that equates to in numbers? Is you that know, hundreds? It, is it, it, oh, it's, it's, it's gotta be above a thousand, right? A okay. year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, it is, that's intense. It is, it is a very high term. And, and here's the thing, right? You talk to these guys, they were in some, they took their CDL and like, you know, we, you suggest on your channel, they see car hall, they want to jump into it. The thing about car hall, it is a little bit different, right? When you talk about the cargo, the claims, and then the insurance, right? If you, are you going to the, if you go to the guy that's on the corner, your insurance guy, right? They're probably not specialized in building programs specifically for this niche market. And I, I think that is one of the, the, the bigger benefits. And if you are hauling for um, freight, it's the same story. And we leverage the same experiences from, from our, our sister company, um, TDA and, and Team Freight. So, you know, I just, just to highlight Mike's last point is, you know, and again, with our Holly um, pillars of ease of use to join, if you are a registered Holly carrier, you can just go to goNVT.org, type in your DOT, hit one button, and that will start the process. If you are not currently a registered carrier with United Road, go to Holly, get registered, and then once you're registered, you can jump on goNVT.org and and just put in your DOT number, and the rest will, uh, you know, the, the process just takes off from there. And you can also you can go to the you have a. You have a web page, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can go to you know, uh, go nvta dot org, and um, that'll get you right into um, right into what um, you know both you know Ray and Mike were speaking of. It will allow you to you know, navigate through the system, see what some of those benefits are. Obviously, there's a login button, and once you are a member, um, that will enable some other features of the uh, of the site. Um, so you won't be able to get to every feature of the site simply by going to um, going to the website. Um, you know, once you become a member, there's some other pieces that will be enabled, and uh, you can go from there. So, um, so we encourage everyone to go, you know, to uh, go to the site. It, once again, it's goNVTA.org um, and find out more information. And um, there's even a telephone number on there, email address as well, if you want to, um, you know, reach out and you know have a live discussion with uh, one of our representatives. Perfect, because then that brings us to, I know there was some good uh, specific questions, and I'm, I'm positive that through what we've been talking about, you've got many people thinking that they haven't said anything, they're wondering, what do I do? Uh, so if you're not sure where to start, okay, at least you have you have the website, goNVTA.org. There is, there's the email address, send an email. Yep. And there's there's a phone number on the web page, right? Absolutely. Yep. Call the phone number because that's going to lead you down the path of you got questions, you want to talk cost, right? We can't get in all those parameters here tonight, but right. obviously those are questions that you're going to have, and you need to get them answered. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, and and certainly, you know, Mike, I think you know touched on the the website earlier. I mean, on the um, email address earlier, which I'll. Um, give you again, nvta at goNVTA.org. Um, and then the, um, the telephone number for those that may be just listening and can't get to the site right now, it's 518-694-4589. So, um, so we're trying to make it as, you know, as easy as possible to get in touch with us to find out more. 
And uh, really, we want, you know, uh, for carriers that are that are reaching out to us, um, we want to talk about the value of the program, you know, and the value of the services, um, because we think the value of the services and the value of the program far out, uh, exceed um, whatever the cost is, you know, for the program. And I know another good question, how does this compare to another organization, association, alliance? So there's going to be those questions, and those, yeah. are, those are good questions. And I like how, so Cornell, Cornell's not on camera with us tonight, but he's in the live chat. He says NVTA is on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. So, yeah, reach out. Yeah. Get, yeah. Ask a question. Yeah. Start Absolutely. the communication. Well, you become part of the research. Yeah, and I'll say I'll say this uh, say this, Jay. We talk about um, how does it compare to other organizations, and certainly, you know, uh, United Road is a member of other um, you know car hauling associations, other you know transportation associations, and we are a proud member of those associations. We are um, thrilled to represent you know the car haul industry, and thrilled to be you know arm in arm with uh, our car, haul, car hauling brethren in um, advocating for causes that are specific to this industry. Um, and, and we remain committed to that. We remain committed to those organizations. Um, you know, uh, many of those organizations you know, focus on uh, lobbying efforts, uh, making sure that the um, concerns of the car hauling um, population are heard and are considered uh, by various legislators. The purpose of MBTA is not, is not to be um, you know, legislative in nature because we have some great um, car hauling associations, auto hauling associations that uh, are involved in that piece of it already, you know, between some groups, you know, you know which is part of ATA, you know, you know, groups like AHA, you know, they do a fantastic job of, uh, of lobbying on behalf of, of this industry. Um, and so, but MBTA, you know, takes a, a slightly different path um, because, you know, the, uh, those other organizations have um, those, you know, lobbying efforts already covered. Right. Well, and frankly, if you get too far into legislative, it'll take all your time. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So, um, no, that's a really good point. Um, Cornell also mentioned customer service is open from 9 to 5 Eastern time. That might be, is that one Monday through Friday, maybe? That is correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, I really appreciate this information um there's really a lot here what what i think is neat too guys is that we did it we made kind of that standalone segment that then um in 24 to 48 hours after i finish all the description and stuff you can share that segment and people can go back and view it and learn a lot more and i mean <laughs> you know it's really neat jason thank you for reaching out to me and you know saying let's let's do this let's let's put this on auto transport intel let's announce it and we have a lot of people here looking at this asking questions yep. then there'll be plenty on demand so i really appreciate that before i let you go any fine or final thoughts let's go around final thoughts jason walker well i'll say this um yeah i i, I thank you jay and uh, and your you know your audience for just their you know for their support and the support of this industry um, and uh, we ask that um, if there are other things that um, should be considered, you know, within uh, the list of services for MBTA, certainly don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, you know, Mike is, um, is is running with this, um, running with this on, on behalf of MBTA, and uh, we'll certainly be. You know, we have a team of folks that are behind the uh, that email address and that telephone number that stand ready to uh, to help whomever reaches out. And uh, we're going to continue to look for ways to make this better uh, and ways to help out um, the you know, small to mid-sized carriers. So um, we, we appreciate everyone's uh, help and everyone's assistance. Awesome. Thanks very much. Yeah. Yes, Michael. I was going to say, I just want to second that. Uh, excited to finally go to work with the launch tomorrow. Uh, you know, we're, we're ready to go, and uh, we're looking forward to it. And I want to thank you again for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. And uh, we're ready to work. That's awesome. Yeah, this is this is exciting. Um, it really and, and I I think a couple of folks like Ron. He's he's Ron really likes to pay attention to what's happening, what's new, what's changing, and this this certainly feels like another new addition towards progress. Um, Ray, what were you going to add? You know, I just I just want to uh, you know share in the excitement and just say that you know 
with everything that we've developed, you know, both Holly and now um, NVTA, you know, they they come through with a lot of passion from everyone that works on these things. And, you know, we live and breathe auto haul and, and trucking every day. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited that we got to this point um, and, and can provide this product to our carriers and really start seeing that list grow, taking these carriers from one to three trucks to 10 to 15 trucks, setting up the routes, giving them this portfolio of the services so that they don't have to go through the, the, the you know, try and try this, try that methods. We know this stuff works. And, um, you know, please reach out to myself, my team, Mike Riley, you know, we're all available, um, plenty of uh, resources to, to contact us. So, and uh, just want to thank all our carrier partners and any of our new carrier partners um, that may join uh, in the near future. And, you know, I want to say this too, is that I'm also, I, I want to, I want to help uh, with the, the, you know, the transfer of information and communication. I had a YouTube comment. I mentioned it to you all. Please follow up. So listen, I, what I'm saying is this, is that if you're, if you've got something in the live chat, if you've got a YouTube comment or question afterwards, I want to help with the flow of communication. We're not just dropping you off at a bus stop and moving on. All right. So let us know how we can help. That's the point. We want to help. Yep. This is all about. So Absolutely. Cool. Great mission. Great concept. Well done. It's here. NVTA is here. <laughs> go nvta.org thank you guys so much and we'll be in touch all right thank you appreciate thank you. it all right good night everybody and i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm letting them go and um because we still have more show to go in fact what i need to do is bring in i'm opening up the second panel now and um right that's a you know it's interesting great question ron will they also train you right do they do they tell you what to eat what I mean is, is that at some point, right, we have to, you know what came to my mind? Here's a good analogy. When you go to the FMCSA website, that doesn't set up your company for you by any stretch of the imagination. You can go to the fmcsa.dot.gov website anytime you want, and there is, the onus is on you to do the work and set up your company, but here is a way, a pathway to information and here's where you gotta go here's what you gotta click on here's what you gotta do <laughs> gina kessler says hey hey wurtzy oh man that's pretty funny that is really funny stuff well hey 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 kessley um you know sometimes folks that have been on the show before they stumble back in they say hello in the live chat and i really appreciate when people do that by the way ty out there in tv land oh and we got mark showing up is that um ty i was going to add you to that last segment but i didn't see i couldn't find the window you know it's like when uh when the x-wing you got luke skywalker and the x-wing and he's he's coming past the death star and he you know what he just can't find the window so he's got to come back around so that's what we're going to do we'll come back around i'm sure we'll have another bite at the apple i hear the doorbell ringing everybody here in the zoom meeting has got to be tired of watching me talk to you Actually, they're probably not, because they're all friends of mine. Uh, welcome to Tuesday Nights Live, my friends. <clears throat> How you doing, sir? What's, Jay, what's happening? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, so we'll do a proper hello. We'll start with Mike in the upper left corner. Mike Buchanan, please say hello to the Tuesday Nights Live audience. Hey, everybody. Mike Buchanan, ARIS Marketing Solutions. Great. Glad to be here, Jay. Good to uh, see everybody. Yeah, it's great to have you back. Thank you for coming back. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedule. I know you're busy because I see you on LinkedIn. <laughs> Least I could do. This is easy for me because as uh, some of you guys might know, I'll, I'm mountain time. So uh, I got two hours on, on most of the people. <laughs> Everyone else on the East. Oh, yeah. It is for most people are on the East Coast. Most loads are on the East Coast. Most people. I'm surprised the nation doesn't tilt. Uh, Paul, what is going on, Paul? How are you doing? I'm good, brother. I'm good. Glad to be a part of the show again. Looking forward to it. You know, Paul, I appreciate you coming back. Um, it's funny to see the vision happening, right? I'm probably going to mention it every time. <laughs> I reached out to Paul, what was that, six, eight months ago? And yep. man, I mean, we're just hitting the bricks. It is so cool. 
Uh, Tim Scatalus is here. Tim, what's going on, Tim? Jay, live from a hotel room high above Dallas, Texas. How you doing, buddy? Live from the hotel back lot. <laughs> That's right. You're cranking out the content too, man. Um, I got to keep up with you, man. You're my oh. inspiration, Jay. <laughs> oh, 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 well, then you got your work cut out for you. <laughs> I do. I have a hard time keeping up with me. Um, the live chat said, hey, what's going on, Mark? Can, Mark, can you see us and hear us okay? I can hear you and see you. Can you hear me and see me? We hear you. We Good. see you. Mike, check. Um, hey, guys, what's up? Okay, we're good. So the only person we're missing, we see you, and that was a good, and that's, you changed up your audio. It sounds good, right? Who, for me? Yeah, we cha you yeah. changed up, yeah. Yeah, it does, I did. It does sound good. Yeah, I like I it. Um, and the, so the only one we're missing is, oh, here we go. I'm going to send Ty a new invite, and then, and then we're going to get this party started. By the way, is anybody looking at the clock? Anybody, uh, um, is the you know is the steak overdone? Is everybody okay time wise? Tim picked up uh, our advantage being in Dallas now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> well, I know Paul's jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, Mike's schedule. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so let's see here so where do we start you know it seems i'm going to start with paul it seems like in industry news i had the most i think i i, I think you had the most referrals in industry news does, does that make sense yeah yeah we've been um we've, we've been partnering up with quite a few companies and whatnot and uh some of the things that at that, and some of the data that we've been putting out there in the reports have been really beneficial to a lot of the partners that are out there yeah, um, I can imagine. That's that is one thing I, I, I that has crossed through my mind is with the number of partners and demonstrations that you do and your networking. I mean, content just makes sense. The problem yes. is time, right? Yeah, it's the time. <laughs> yeah, but that that LinkedIn video that was great. That was a really that was Friday, right? Yes, sir. It yeah. was. Uh, it, it took me a day and a half to figure out how to make all that work, but. Now I've got it down pat. It won't take me that long anymore. You did great. Thank um, you. I that. That, it was awesome. And Ty, Ty is here. Ty, can you see us and Brother hear Ty. us okay? Check, check. Uh-oh. I don't hear him. But I know he's... I know he's... <coughs> yeah, check, check. Ty? Audio, audio. Audio. You're a little quiet. How's that? Uh, a little quiet. I won't talk. No, that <laughs> doesn't even make sense. <laughs> and I, I, I really, yeah, uh, I really did want to bring you into the last segment, but I couldn't find the spot. No, that those guys did great, and uh, you know, it's funny as we're sitting here, <clears throat> I'm watching these guys and I'm listening to them, I'm thinking the whole time, everybody that comes in through your show, your platform that I talk to, I'm like, wow, this is a great resource for me. You know, I've got questions. I'm going to have to get a hold of Ray or Jason or Mike, one of those three, and talk to them about what do we do with these new carriers that don't have any experience, right? Well, yeah, ex right. Well, that's the thing is that um, I, what you know, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, you know, it's amazing how there really is a lot of opportunity for overlap. And it, it, it really, you know, in case we need any, you know, authenticity or credibility check, like X Tango Victor, you know, the thing, the thing is that Jason just told me about this. I mean, I, I didn't even know about it a few weeks ago. Well, you guys, you know, you had the show last week where you discussed, you know, the future of auto transport. And I'm gonna tell you right now, those sorts of organizations that those are the stepping stones to a brighter future for you guys. Yep. You know, um, bringing everybody together. Yeah, there might be some overlap, but heck, man, more is better in today's world. So I applaud the guys at United Road and, and, and that new organization. You guys are very lucky. Um, you know, keep plugging away. Absolutely. Appreciate that. Yeah, well, it, it, you know, get the – somebody was saying, you know, connecting all the – with the tech and the, and the AI and 
you know, I sound kind of silly the way I'm putting it, but, but it seems impossible. There's no way. And when we look at other industries, well, uh, that, that whole no way and impossible thing <clears throat> is out the window. It, right. there, it, these things are happening. And you know one topic that I won't even talk about? I'm going to have to say it. Sushi? Automated <laughs> automated trucking. Uh, autonomous <laughs> trucking. Yeah. Autonomous. I, don't even, I don't even talk about it because, <laughs> I, number one, it's scary and crazy. And, who, who's going to go get the cars out of the back of the auction, out the, that's off the what, last I, row? I didn't no. say the cars load themselves. No. <laughs> Until you got that figured out. <laughs> but but my point is, and then I'll leave this alone. It's some version of something is going to happen. The tech guys are never going to leave this alone. Right. Never. Right. Okay. So the the, the thing that the takeaway I felt like was really cool because we can slide now. We look who we've got here in the panel. We've got dealer guys, right? So I like to shift it towards, you know, we got Mike Buchanan. Mike Buchanan in charge of a lot of cars. Mike, how's your transportation treating you? <laughs> yeah, I think that's nice, kind of a loaded way. question, but uh, <laughs> I do understand completely. And just to say what, what Tim was saying, you know, that what United Road is doing is awesome. And the first thing was, you know, obviously short plug from, from a fleet management standpoint. That's everything we're doing for some of these larger companies. And we have some carriers that we manage their fleets. But one of the things that really struck me was the I didn't realize the number of carriers that were dropping because of the insurance cost, because of the fuel right. cost, because of that right. uncertainty. Well, having somebody like United Road to be able to be in their corner and hold them, you know, maybe cuddle with them at night, how, however you want to call it, it it's going to be able to not only propel the industry, but grow it as well. So it, it's, it's amazing. And all that benefits somebody like ARI who we're trying to partner with not only the United Roads, but also the Paul's trucking of Atlanta, Georgia, to make sure that we're getting the right vendor, getting the right supplier. Um, I think Ray was saying it, vetting them to, to the best possibility, because even if it's the size, it, sometimes it's not the size that matters. It's that quality of work and the time that it takes to get these units uh, moved to where we need them. You know, when I did, I was when I was doing research to prepare for tonight, uh, and looking specifically about the transportation and logistics side of the business, and I was just curious of how much data and analytics is going into helping the carriers modify and change. I know Mark, you showed me what uh, what you your technology is doing now, and I think it's phenomenal. And then to hear what these guys did at United Road, because those are the three things that I I found out today that reason why car haulers are dropping off, you know, cost of fuel, insurance, and maintenance. Well, and it, you know, <clears throat> it's funny because they were talking about that 60 to 70%. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I get the phone call, the new guy, he wants to get in. That's, that's what I talk to. And, and I tell these guys, I say, look, here, here's the life expectancy of what you're talking about doing right now is three to six months. Now, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys caught it, but they were saying the same thing and we haven't talked. So the, you know, without a guy like me having somebody to, to rely on like them, right? So I, I've been just out here saying, okay, here's, here's how you do it. You go talk to car dealers, you go talk to car dealers, and then you go talk to car dealers more. That's where you're going to find out where your lane is. That's going to find out how you make your money, what this is all about. The car dealer will tell you that stuff. Well, a lot of people don't have that in them to just randomly go talk to people, Right. I'm call me a sales guy. So the, the, I call it the bumper rails, right? Right. In the, in the, in the bowling alley. And I also call it Jay and I, when we were in Atlanta at the aha, we did, we got to speak in a, in a little, uh, what did they call that Jay? Uh, like an off seat. Uh, oh, breakout. Break yeah. We got to do it. Yeah. Are you so, ready to break out of your breakout? Okay. We did uh, <laughs> the whales and the cleaner fish. Yes. And I was thinking about that. There is a sincere overlap between what you just said and what we just saw. 
Right. Well, I'm changing. I'm going to the warthog and the mongoose. Go oh, watch yeah. that video. <laughs> so the, the point is, is that these... Okay, these, but you got to clarify. On YouTube, Ty sent me a video. The warthog, I thought they were going to fight. No, a gang of mongoose comes over and the warthog goes to the gang of, of mongoose. The mongoose climb on top and eat all the ticks. Oh. It's, it's so enjoyable for the warthog. He falls over and asleep. Because he's loving it. And the mongoose eat all the ticks, and then they go on to the next warthog. Yeah. So pretty cool. But And, and that's the thing. United Road is big. All right? I've, I've been in it 20 years. I've known about United Road for 20 years. I think I heard them just say they've been around 30. But when I got, I mean, when I found out who United Road was, I was a little scared. I mean, these guys are huge, right? So by by them, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that they, they do need, we call them the wedgies, right? The little three car, one truck, truck. And, that's and right. yeah, that's right. And they not, they not only need them, but they've seen, I mean, they know how much of the industry is the one truck, truck, Charlie, the one car, the three car. Cause it's, this is, this is hard stuff. Okay. This is like talking about autonomous trucking. When you talk about the nine car <clears throat> and the 10 car stingers, it's a different culture and work style. And it's so different that when you start talking about three cars to ten cars, and we've tried it, almost got thrown out of the place. Now, that's a joke, but it's something to think about. It right. certainly wasn't a warthog and mongoose situation. No, it wasn't. But, so, I guess what I'm trying to say is is that as, as part of this show, it's like having Paul, Mike, Tim, and... Uh, I just went blank. Mark, I'm sorry. <laughs> we, He's the silent partner. Mark, I know. Mark. Mark. Mark is the man. But I guess it, <clears throat> as a coach guy, consultant guy, I, here's what I've been noticing this week especially. Trying to explain everything that's happening right now to somebody that has no idea about the fundamentals. What are the fundamentals? Fundamentals are this. Car dealers buy cars and they sell cars. Right. Right. That's the fundamental. If you can understand that, you 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 got something going for you because they want them now. That's where Tim comes in. Tim starts talking about this melting block of ice. That's interest. Right. They're paying fifty to sixty five, sixty six dollars a day for insurance per car, or not in interest, right? So understanding the basics. Well, then you you slide over to the auction world. That's where Ty's comfortable. Well, do we have physical auctions? Yeah, kind of. Well, what about these online auctions? Okay. What about this, this short, uh, you know, picking cars up out of driveways? Paul, right? That's real. That's really happening today, guys. No mm -hmm. joke. And so then we got a guy like Mark who's trying to be the tech guy to try to manage all this. So I guess what I'm saying is, is you do have this fundamental, this base, <clears throat> I call it the baseline. And then it's as you grow, which to me has always been organic, right? I want to. I want to. I want to meet Tim. Tim. Tim and I have this ongoing joke. I. I know a guy. <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of. I, I think this is really cool. I think it's even more cool that they announced it on Jay's show, which is awesome. Good job, Jay. Thank, Thank you, you very bro. much. Thank you. That, uh, that, well, that was that was that was really yeah. neat. So anyway, I'm I'm done with well, that. And I just want to say this. I you know the thing is Ty and I finally figured out how to compete because you we know that here we are. We're on this show. We got Mike is in fleet management. We're talking large swaths of vehicle parking lots of vehicles. And not just cars, right? All kinds of auctions, dealers, parking lots, etc. Tim, I mean, knows the dealership inside and out. Paul has data that will drive you insane. <laughs> and Mark has technology that will allow you to finally manage your business. Now, what Mark's talking about might be the most, if you're, if you're new and you're learning and you're researching, and we're glad you're here. Thank you so much. But if you're new and you're researching, what Mark does might make the most sense. Because Ty's talking about connecting dealers, auctions, and carriers. Gets a little, okay, maybe. But by the time we start talking about fleets or in and out of dealerships, we are off the map. And that's where I found, I found out if, if we get too far off the map, I figured out how to compete. 
I now have a stack of $100 bills. Okay. So this is Auto Transport Intel. And yes, I now can make videos of stacks of $100 bills. Because if that's what gets your attention, I know that's what we all want. Right. But I just don't know if you can get a day one. So, Jay, I found out, and this is for the, because you asked me to be more specific to transportation and carriers and make it more relatable to the data that I have. Uh, and I found that there are four basic things that are similar to what I what we talk about. Tim talks about it all the time. Mike talks about, about it all the time. Four things that I found that as carriers, you can't count on in 2021. You cannot count on the natural business cycle. Guess who else can't count on the natural business cycle? The dealer, right? Auctions, no, no longer counting on the business cycle. Uh, don't count on the freight volumes, you know, because of the shortage of inventory, both on the new car side, used car side, and the implications that are now happening with the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau on the repossession market. So the, the commonality blew me away uh, because it's a domino, right? It's not just silo in one industry, it's spread across. And the businesses, in, in this case, the carriers that figure out a way to answer one of these four will be the winners in 2021. Transportation prices, you know, don't count on reduced transportation prices, you know, especially not with this administration. They want to charge more for gas and diesel. And don't count on the conventional ways of doing business. You know, I always say, throw the box away. Don't think outside of the box. You know, as carriers, you got to throw that box out. You know, that, that shit's gone. Excuse my French, sorry. But, you know. <clears throat> I love that expression. Throw the box out. Yeah. I love that. And, and, and you, yeah, dealers, auctions, carriers, OEMs too. Isn't it <laughs> fascinating when we see the OEMs talking about uh, selling direct and now shipping direct and the dealers are like, wait a minute, what? You know, like, awesome. As a carrier, that feels good. You're like, cool. <laughs> Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible insight, Paul. That, that is really cool how you did that and came to that through your data. That's that's really fascinating. Good job. Well, I got, actually got that from um, because of the data. The, the, that's what I would say to the dealer or to other technology providers that I, I talked to. Tim and I were talking about this. I think it was Monday, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and it was relatable because when I went, I found it on transportation and uh, transportation and logistics 2021 outlook. I'll send you the link uh, to it, Jay. Um, you can share it with everyone. But the oh, the, the data, the analytics and the AI is 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 something that's critical. And Mark, you showed me Monday could take a newbie and make his or her job so easy. They can launch their business so easy because you've eliminated a lot of these expectations. Here's the other thing up time. They aren't stuck in the old way. They're not expecting the conventional way to come back. And they're not thinking things are going to return to normal. You know, you're setting the new, you're setting a new groundwork. And unfortunately, uh, all of us that have been in the business a long time, you know, as Tim and I were talking on Monday, we, we've got to change because it's changing. <laughs> yeah. Like I know if you're a, all the dealer friends I talk to, they want it. There was, so there was a report that dealers comp 46% so far year to date. I'm like, what off of 2020? Well, 2020 was terrible, right? Right. Um, you, if you're looking at 2020 to comp off of, I just don't know if you're measuring yourself or setting re realistic expectations. You probably need to be looking at 2019. But now you're making me think, Paul, what, I don't know, going forward, heck. Um, I mean, we can, there's no way we can see this year in and year out, though, where it's this unpredictable, right? I mean, isn't what was the the visible hand? Was the, there's the economist who said that. I mean, eventually, something will take over to bring it back to normal, right? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was we thinking that too, <laughs> right? Well, because 08, 09 gets talked about all the time mm -hmm. in trends. <laughs> and then, yeah, so. And what was that? What was it like between what 2012 to yeah. 2019? I mean, it went down and it came back up, and it really never ever went back down. I mean, I, it'll come back down a little bit, but I don't know if we'll ever see the same levels. But I think we'll see the same trends. I mean, tax time is on April 15th every year, and the model years change in the fall, 
and kids go back to school. We got hurricane season. I mean, all these things that happen on the calendar year in and year out. But um, it's just like it's a perfect storm, you know, to quote somebody here on the panel. <laughs> <laughs> right. Snowbirds will always have. Yeah. Unless there's what global warming birds. Come on. <laughs> um, Mark Grodeke. Yes, so you you were referenced, and then we kind of we kind of did a drive by. Let's try that again. So what do you what do you want it? What do you have to share? You want me to share my screen, or do you want to share yours? Let's share. Uh, it. I didn't set it up to share okay. mine. So no problem. Let's yeah. share. Um, let's do this. It's let's slick, do... guys. For those who have it's real slick. What he's put together. Uh, <laughs> That's probably not all. Just a couple of things tonight. Uh, this this one. Um, this slide right now, if you haven't seen Dispatch Center, we have a quick view button, quick view right there. And that was inspired by my buddy, Jay. Oh. Jay, look how many loads are on that page, Jay, that you can see. And that page refreshes yes. automatically when a new load comes in. You oh, don't I have love to refresh that too. It. it just, they just populate. I, and surprisingly to me, it surprised me that it's my go-to page when I, when I, log on to see what's happening i just i go there now i used to go to new loads and it used to be it's wider it has more information you can see more things but this you see it's it's pretty cool so i wanted to thank you for that that is uh inspired um through wh what probably, you suggested and, probably like and, dispatching and we, live right we listen we listen we try to listen to what people need what what people want like Constantine, when Constantine said, when I, when you send me a booking request, a notification, and I request it, why don't you show me more loads in that route? We put a button on there to show more loads in that route. Every, and, and actually we enhance that even a little bit more. And that was all inspired by Constantine of showing the backhaul, showing more loads. So you get a notification <clears throat> on dispatch center. You can see that. You can see uh, just more loads in that route and you can have several routes on your notification page and if you want to see how i can book that you can book it but the really cool thing that we have lately is um we've we have route scout really tied in very nicely to the searches and that is something that i think is going to help ties guys now ties guys and tie if you're not an ati round table member and and in in that seeing what and talking to ty and ty breaks it down for you he'll like tell you like you need to pay attention and you need to go do something because 30 i don't know three to six months some of you guys aren't going to be here and he doesn't he doesn't try to sugarcoat that some of you guys are not going to be here because you're going to go out of business and why are you going to go out of business because you don't know what you're running. You don't you don't know what your expenses are. You don't know how much you're making. And Ty wants you to go to see the the auction and the dealership at the auction and find out what he needs to bring back and to have that full circle of I have trades and now I'm taking them to the auction. Now I just bought these and I go back. That's great. That's a great business model for the people who can do that and that that's the probably the best scenario and then pick up things along the side we we can help you but superflow dispatch center technology we are leading the way in technology we like that quick quick view button the one thing i was kind of joking with jay today is somebody's going to take that some People always copy our technology. We have good ideas. And they copy it. So the internet was built we'll on plagiarism. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be fun. So um, Ashley from our our team suggested that we do a a kind of a ATI non disclosure agreement. Everybody today to to who's listening would got to agree. No bueno. No, no bueno. No we're, bueno. This is so, an open forum, and we're always live. So I, I think I told Ty this, I don't even know who, uh, is that I say more things live now than I do on phones mm. that, yeah, everything is just a waiver now. I just have well, to you, wave. We keep, we keep listening, so we'll keep listening and talking <laughs> to your guys. And it's no longer just me. And building our <laughs> technology. Yeah. 
follow I us. See, I got to see the whole thing, and I thought it was really impressive. And Thank I didn't you. realize how how much you put into it until I, I did this research. And the eight things that they talk about what carriers and transportation companies need to look for to improve their business for 2021, you hit all eight. Whoa. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. Whoa. And so, number nine, you listen to people. That's another one, yeah, right? Holy yeah. cow. And we want to know. That's what I'm telling you. Some of our best suggestions have come from people who just told us, it would be cool if you could do this. And I don't know. That's So if you haven't seen Dispatch Center lately, you need to see it because we keep innovating and right we on. it is not what it was a year ago. It's not what it was six months ago. It's better and it will be better tomorrow because our mission is to make your company better every day. That's what we try to do. We try to, with our technology, make your company better every day. Whether you're the shipper, whether you're the carrier, and we, we want to make your business better every day. May 11th, May 11th, May 11th. is your show. Yeah, we'll be how back. About that? We haven't done a, a, a dispatch show fun. in a while, so this will be awesome. I'm going to see who my panel is so far. I, I don't really know. I'm trying to get some people like, um, you know, the thing like last thing last week that I noticed was um, what, like back, like Tim, Tim Scatalus. And when you say his name, you, you know how to say his name. And people <laughs> people know how to say his name. Back. Nobody even knows what that guy's last name is. You can't what, even. Abduliev. Boom. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. Beck's got, uh, so you, he's like, he's like a rock star. He's like a rock star. And he's got like a, uh, a one word name, like Beck. You know who it is. It's like he's the John, he's the John Lennon of, of auto transport. <laughs> yeah. He is the rock star of auto transport. Seriously, the, he is. The, the uh, one was, word name. So I'm going to try and find somebody. Let's see. I don't know one word. I don't. I don't know who that is. But uh, we'll see. We'll have some. Uh, we'll have some good, interesting guests and uh, have a good conversation. And, well, and, and I'm glad you said that about the panel because that's what's happened on this channel. Is that if you want to build a panel on this <clears> channel, <throat> it it's out there now email me autotransportintel at gmail.com let's build your panel on the channel um, or email me and i'll pass it on to you yeah you can do that too but yeah. and, and that's what's neat is that I, I like we don't and also i did invite um so michelle was unable to join us tonight and sky unable to join us tonight but that's what's neat is as we really look at this industry um and I'm excited. I keep. I've, I've got this secret. I've got this secret project that I'm going to do a show. Um, is it okay? Oh, it's May fourth. <laughs> May the fourth. May the fourth be, be with, with you? you. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm going to reveal this secret project I've been working on, where I'm going to be. I'm going to be talking really very futury. Paul, you're going to love the show. <laughs> because and it's gonna actually I think it's gonna I think it's gonna irritate some people in traditional auto transport, but that that's nothing. I've been irritating traditional auto transport for years. <coughs> that should be my motto. Auto transport Intel, irritating auto transport. Um, so having said that, and we and I know we kind of been running through the show. It's been a little you know like what are we doing here? Um, Tim, when I think of some of the things you're working on, I think you've got some secret projects between like, you know, transport rates and we, I think we, we're seeing people hint at what I think we're going to start seeing. And that is that there are folks that know we need car shipping buttons and, and faster pricing. And Mike, I know you know this too. Exactly. People want this stuff, but they haven't arrived at the understanding that, oh, it's just going to, it's going to be in your product. You no longer have to, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, so I don't know, you know, I know of dealer groups that have their own dispatchers. They sit right mm -hmm. there with the guys who are buying the cars, you know, and they're, 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 make, they're building their loads, they're talking right to the transporters themselves. That's all they do. So, you know, I don't know if that's a business. I, I don't know well, the, the industry well enough, but there's a, Okay. That's right. A dis exactly. That's disruption. I'm like, there's time. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's disruption. <laughs> well, you know, you know, 
<laughs> Tim, I think you said you know a guy. <laughs> well, th th this is a great conversation piece because I've, I've thought this for a long, long time. I've, and you guys are the perfect group to bounce this off. Okay, dealers have profit centers. Yep. Okay. Why not have a transportation profit center? Make it number nine. I mean, Tim just said it in a roundabout way. Well, right? Yeah, I'm looking at Mark's board tool there, and I'm like, well, if if, if I'm I got done, I, I've I've it's Friday. I hit man on the the open sale, the exotic sale. I'm done. I've got my two loads of cars. You know, I'll just get on there and boom, boom, boom myself. I'll I'm gonna post them up there, and I'll get. I'll just manage my own loads all weekend long on my phone with this tool. And, and I want to jump in. It's not like we're reinventing anything. Folks are doing that now, but here's the difference. You've got too many people that at the end of the day on Friday, they're like, oh, man, I got, I got to do another four hours of loading this crap in. Yeah. Why? Why do you have to set aside time? You know, now you can do laundry while you exercise. <laughs> Well, the way the way the angle I was taken here was okay. So this has irritated me for a long time, and I'm going to say some things that I shouldn't say. So I remember when Central Dispatch first came out, and I didn't even know what a load board was. Somehow, years after it came out, I went ahead and got on. I was just kind of looking at it, and then I started seeing dealers posting cars on the load board, and it really made me angry, very upset. Why? Why do I have to, as a carrier or a broker? I was a carrier and a broker. Why do I have to pay for this insurance? Why do I have to pay for this authority? Why do I have to pay fuel tax? All these ridiculous fees and costs associated with being a trucking company, 20 trucks. Why do I have to pay that? And Mr. Car Dealer over here is in my business and he doesn't have to pay anything. It really irritated me, right? So whatever the answer is, I don't know. I still don't know the answer. It's his car, so he can do what he wants with it. That's fair. All right. But if you're going to do that, why not go ahead and just spend a little bit of money not a lot. You're already in control. You're already doing it. It's called, you know, I don't know. You guys pack these cars, right? Yeah. I mean, so I've always, I've, I've said this for a long time. Go to the normal dealership and ask that guy, what do you spend in transportation a month, a year? What do you spend? I don't know. Why don't they know? Yeah. Well, <laughs> because they, you know, most dealers are going to assign a, a fixed cost, a set cost to each car. You know, That's right. this car A was three hundred dollars in transport. Car B was two fifty. Now, when I worked for a company that was blue and yellow, we did what you did. We 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 were, you might be saying is we assigned a flat rate to every car. It was a, a transportation pack. De dealers don't think like that in general. They're not that okay. smart. Sorry, um, but it's probably a good idea. Right. So if you're going to do that, and you're going to spend. Let's call it half a million dollars a year in yeah. transportation, whether it's packed, whether it's flat rate, whatever, whatever. Let's call you, it three hundred dollars a car. Right. Why not actually set up a subsidiary company to your business? Right. It's it's new car store RS Logistics, whatever the name of your car store is. Right. Right. We're set up your brokerage. Store. We're now a brokerage. Right. So we're dispatching. Why not be compensated for that? Does that make any sense at all? Yeah. yeah they put in all the other parts of their business. Yeah. Well, and not to mention you're legal now because the way it's being done by a lot of companies now, they're just posting th things and not even worrying about the legality because yeah. this is the Tim, Wild Tim, West. And I, like, I want to hear Tim. That's Tim's the way it's always guess. been done. Uh, Jack, go ahead. De dealers want to vendor everything out. Dealers don't – I mean, they, they will hire out the photo guy because they don't want him on the payroll. Um, so the, the traditional franchise car dealer, I don't see them doing that. The 20, 30, 40-star rooftop – yeah. Group maybe, but even them are they're really conscious of their car and their exposure, right? I mean, the last thing they want to do is sell a car to somebody. Now they got all these other things that people can come after. I don't know, Ty. We have to talk. We should have a, a, a sushi roll over this. One. Okay, and I love that, yeah. and, and I'm going to double the sushi roll because here's what I want to know: How are the OEMs looking at this? They're doing it. Well, they have to, right? I mean, it's they're the well, source. Welcome they're to the, the car. world of our problems. I mean. Yeah. Right? Because now what? the OEM is turning into the broker. Am I wrong? For for uh, for new cars? Well, as when in, in the in, in, and I think this is a new area that I don't think is being talked about much, but it it, it definitely deserves attention. You have OEMs talking about deliver selling and delivering new cars to customers. 
Oh, Tell directly. Them. Okay, yeah. Right, yeah, selling directly. and delivering directly. They're going to deliver them to the dealers, though. I don't think they're going to send deliver them to their house. They're going to go through the dealer. Does the dealer know that? <laughs> yeah, no, they know that. Okay. Volvo, Chevy, they all know. Because it, they want this. There's the service side of it, right? They, they want to control the front end, the, the variable experience. But as soon as the car is sold, it's going to get delivered through the dealer. Hey, my name's Tom. I'm your service manager. When your car breaks down or you need a little change, come here. Right. Right. They'll never deliver it right to the house. Carvana, and I've always, I've said this many times, it's Carvana, it's a big disadvantage for them. And I think it'll eventually come back to hurt them that they don't have the physical space. Speaking of that, Tim, I watched your video. Are you, can you, can you talk about that video you put out? The what, the CarMax video? Yeah. That was yes. pretty intriguing. I, I went into tinfoil land there for a minute. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I, I've come to learn since I did that. I guess, um, so... CarMax had a uh, $50 million stake in um, Edmunds, a 50-year-old company that's been around, right, providing values and, con and now recently content. But um, CarMax invested $50 million in them as a kind of a, you know, let's go on a date. And I think they liked it. So they um, capped it. They put in another $350 million, $400 million for what is, what is essentially, though, a listing company. They are a third-party listing site. And... Um, People think of Edmunds values. I want to, hey, what's my car worth? You go in and see what your car is worth. The offer comes from CarMax. Right. Um, and that I think dealers need to know that. That's a little scary. Um, I'm hoping that. It was an eye-opening video. That yeah. was good. Yeah. yeah. I put on my tinfoil hat, too. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. Um, and dealers, like that th that guy from the Hendrix store that I work with, I'm like, you, you know your cars are on there? He's like, no, I, don't, I wouldn't put my cars on Edmunds. They're on there, dude. <laughs> what do you no. say? <laughs> He's, so there's some people who probably might have lost their job this week over at the you know the marketing department over there. I don't know, but um, but there's a lot of consolidation going on in auto in all areas, and I imagine transport too, right? You know, United Road and these big companies are all consolidating. That's what we're seeing is 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 this ton of money on the sidelines, and these big companies are going to buy the the companies that are struggling. But doesn't it feel like it's either a win or a lose? Like, I just keep getting this sense like, okay, this, this, everybody, what you just said, right? It's like, this, this is either going to be a big win or it's to me, in my mind. I think it's a huge win for CarMax. I mean, if I'm them, they're, I'm doing the happy dance. This is great. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. And it's probably okay for customers too. Um, but the dealers, the dealer, the dealer, the normal guy that's got his dealership and his family owned for the last 52 years, he sees this. What, what? Yeah, the, the, the independent, the small franchise dealer, he's got one rooftop, maybe two or three. He's hoping to catch a, third, a fourth or fifth. Um, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't have his hands wrapped around this whole hybrid model. He's, he's still chasing the old traditional model. I mean, CarMax just took a huge leap ahead. Yep. Um, up the funnel, he's going to be catching his customers, and he and you're going to know it. And I just want to say this because I do want to hear Mike. You're chomping at the bit. I know you've got good things to say. In <laughs> fact, I'm, what I'm what I feel like I'm doing, Mike. I'm I'm slowly opening the lid to a large paint can that I know there's a lot of paint in there, Mike. I know you have a lot of information, and I and I, I but I want to slowly tap into it rather than you know moving too quick, um, because with I mean with those large of fleets nationwide um your companies i mean how many vehicles do you uh last count yeah. 1.8 million right in in the u.s <laughs> oh my god right okay so before i get to that what i do want to say is what tim just said and here's here's your here's your scary for the evening okay so think mom and pop drug stores okay how many of those do you see now there's still a few um, kind of hanging on. And then uh, somebody recently said, well, what if somebody comes into auto transport, like the 8,000 pound gorilla? I keep wondering, you know, almost in secret, Amazon or Google or somebody, if they decide auto transport is an open frontier, I have no idea what that looks like. And I don't want it, but it's like the autonomous discussion. I feel like we got to at least consider the outside potential of something right. really crazy happening. 
Okay. Now that I've done that, Mike, <laughs> yeah. back to you, Mike. All I was going to say, Tim, the, the, the purpose of CarMax buying Edmonds is exactly why I use somebody like BlackBook from a data standpoint. It's 100% lead generation at a dealership level. And yeah, unfortunately, it, it's cutting out all, all those small mom and pops. But one thing, uh, Jay, that I wanted to mention, you just, you just said Amazon. What kind of impact can they have? They own Last Mile right now. And everybody sees their vans coast to coast. And one of the OEMs, about 90% of all the vehicles that they're manufacturing are going to them. Um, so, yeah, you're talking about impact just at that level. If they get to a bigger level, it, it could have some serious implications to other logistics uh, throughout, um, throughout the world. And, I, you know, there's still that what you can count on a car is still physical. <clears throat> you can't like suck it into the electrical pipe and now it's data bits. A car is still physical as far as we know. Uh, which I think we know. So we have that to rely on. And then so you need a physical carrier. But the way it's being done, right, is so still so haphazard. That's why I think, you know, there's that's the opportunity of an NVTA. Hey, it's still really haphazard. Does it need to be this haphazard? Can I get a different word? I don't know. So it's after 10. Okay. Um, I know we didn't cover enough topics, and I didn't know what this panel would be. Does anybody have anything that has to be discussed? Because I do want to know what it is. I don't have anything that has to be discussed, but I do want to say what Paul just did here, you guys. Paul's not a transport guy. Okay. Paul's a data guy. Paul took data and literally took his data and put it into our world do you see how amazing that is that that is insane crazy you know that right <laughs> that is intense good job paul and mark i'm excited about your product thank you oh man isn't that a big deal that is a big deal it is a big deal ty it why is. are you excited why are you excited about this software well it, it always goes back to the the warthog and the mongoose and the bumper rails and the in the bowling alley. I, I mean, I talk to these guys every day, you guys. I'm not joking. Because of Jay's show, I'm on the phone all day long talking to people that are in the business, want to get in the business, or try to improve the business. And my brain is whack because I'm telling you, the changes that we are seeing right now, screw COVID, man. I don't, don't even talk about that. Who cares? I'm telling <laughs> you right now, this hybrid thing, you guys, this right here, this show, that you're watching right now this is hybrid tell me who has this who, who right. this guy that guy that guy the i mean the, unreal really and, and this is the coming together of my dream right here we are having a discussion that it touches everybody on this panel and everybody watching this it really does i get pretty excited about it if you can't tell so i just am thankful for jay mike Paul, Tim, Mark, this is beautiful. It really is. It's, it's a casual conversation where everybody's trying to figure out what are we doing next? Paul keeps saying it, throw the box out, get rid of it. And I like what Paul's saying. I like how he brings his data and he comes to the conclusion. That's amazing. Is it not? Thank you, sir. <laughs> wow. It is. And we didn't even mention consumer driveway inventory, which again, when you watch Paul's video and he's talking about the spike, right? Based on supply, based on pricing, is it is there a better way? And we and it's not like it's brand new. It's just that you want to open up that, open that category up, right? Well, and, and back to United Road. Sorry to kind of change, but the, the, the thing about it is, is that as as this this community, right? I'm the relationship guy. I'm the community guy. <clears throat> We're going to have to be together, right? Somehow to make this work. And, and we've got these these incredible people with this incredible knowledge, and you can literally hear us trying to figure out what is next. If you're paying attention, we're trying to figure out what is next. So from the perspective of a, of a guy like me who's been in it for a while, talking to somebody who doesn't know anything, and I'm, you know, is it important what truck and trailer I buy, Ty? Yeah, yeah, it is important. Is it the number one thing we need to talk about? No, <laughs> no. What, what about loading it? Is that important? It is, don't get me wrong, but really, 
how are you going to pay for this stuff? It when you say that, the thing when I see, you know, let's talk about the rates. I'm thinking, okay, I'm 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 going to hand you a stack of books to read, which actually is videos to watch, because there's so much uh, there's so much else, and there's so much that actually goes into the rates. So if if you're talking about the rates. Tune in every Thursday. You don't even have to watch every Thursday. You two shows will do it. <laughs> I promise you. I tell everybody, watch Thursday and call me. <laughs> Thank you guys. That yeah. was really awesome. Um, um, all right, fine. Hey, let's go. I'm going to go around. Final thoughts, Mike. Final thoughts. I'm still blown away by what uh, United Road said and what Ty backed up with, with carriers dropping and. You know, I, I can tell you firsthand, we're always looking for more. So it's 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 great what they're doing, and hopefully that'll help grow uh, the the network that they have. And uh, and on that note, um, like you know what I'd love to know, and and the thing is, I don't want to freak you out because you may not have all the information. I don't have it all. That's why I need experts on my panel. But what are some of the things about auto transport? that a company like ARI likes, doesn't like, wishes were better. You know, if you conduct, and you probably have internal marketing and research, but I'll bet you there's some interesting data right in there, and I'd love to, right, I'd love to put the glass up to the to the wall and listen in on that conversation, because it'd be amazing. In fact, we should do it live. I'll uh, leave you two things for the next one. <laughs> yeah. It's consistency and accuracy. Right. Those are big. Those are big categories. Uh, Paul, final thoughts. I'll be sending out another update uh, video. Uh, but for the audience, you're probably your most profitable loads are going to be the zero to two year old vehicles with low mileage, uh, because they're, they're bringing they're, they're bringing platinum, not even gold. They're bringing platinum, and uh, the dealer will pay to get those cars fast. And there it is, right in the live chat. Rates. Rates, rates, rates. See, that's why I got to get... I, I know, I know. There's somebody right there. There's somebody right now going, Oh my God, this is the video I'm looking for. He's got all that money. Final thoughts, Tim. So, Mark, I owe you a phone call tomorrow. I want a demo of your product because I got an idea. And Love Jay that. and Ty, maybe we need to huddle up on the side and talk about the show that we've... The show that we probably shouldn't have, maybe we should talk about having that and just get like down and dirty. Yes. <laughs> I'm in. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we like we start with a live channel. <laughs> live, yeah. live at the sushi bar. And, yeah. And there's no faces and all the audio's garbled. You can't figure out who's talking. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tim. Mark, final thoughts. Uh, thanks, Tim. I uh, let's connect. We'd like to do that tomorrow. Mike, I had a question. The 1.8, what period of time was that? 1.8 million was what What period of That's time? That's current volume that we are managing. I got a guy who'll buy some from you if you're looking to sell some. <laughs> <laughs> That's at one time, like right now? Right now. Right now through, through our entire portfolio Whoa. of clients, yes. That Whoa. is even more impressive than when I was thinking. That's annual, right? Annual. Is that annual? And, and it's annual of growing... Just static, whatever you want to put on there. Um, it's constantly evolving. I'm glad I used my last little thought to uh, get the answer to that because <laughs> it was going to drive me nuts all night probably. <laughs> Hi, I love you. Round table next week. I'll see you there. I've got some more stuff that I'd like if I, Jay could have just a couple minutes uh, during that show. I know that's always jam packed and everybody, you know, just a little bit, just a little bit. And on rates, I had something tonight for rates. Um, we could circle back around to that at a, at a different time. Rates are not as bad as you think right now, carriers. I haven't seen, I didn't see all the chat. See, but that's the did. thing. That's Actually, that's what worries me because um, load board volume is up, which means rates, rates should be up. R rates are up right now. And, I, and that's what Sue says too. Yeah, rates are now, up. Not right everywhere. Now. Everywhere is not equal all the time. and can't please all the people, but... Dollar cost average but I keep of the hearing, loads yeah, I know, I know. of everything that we, we populate, out. that we dispatch, that we run through. R rates are really 
higher than they have been for a, a long time, except for that little spike um, last year. But. And so if that's the case, that's why, <laughs> if that's the case, you know, clear, because we got to work on something, right? We're going to have to, know we you, really got to do something. For the, because, for the transporters have to know what they're doing. And that's the, the kind of the cool thing with the route scout that I really didn't get to mention, but it, it gives you the, to you can put in a zip code where I want to start, the zip code where I want to end, what state are you going to, what state are you finishing in, and it, it finds the loads for you. It tells you how, how much dollars and cents per loaded mile you're going to make, how many deadhead miles you're going to drive, how many deadhead miles you're going to drive to get to the destination where you said I want to end up. And it, it'll tell you. So it's it's right there. If you pick this one up, this one up, this one up, and this one up, you're going to make this much and it'll show you right there and that's the kind of thing that ty is trying to tell these guys you need to know that if you don't know that right you're going to be one of my three to six months and and he doesn't want that ty likes to throw like seeds out he likes to he likes his stuff to sprout and to have them flourish and to right. be profitable he doesn't want seeds to get run over and not to flourish so Sow the seeds, Ty, and, and let those people do their thing. Doing it. We're working. Sow the seeds. Yeah, man. Thanks, Mark. Sow the seeds. Good yeah. stuff, guys. Thank you, everybody. We are sowing the seeds every Tuesday night. Thanks for helping me do that again tonight, guys. That was awesome. Good night, guys. All right. Anytime. All right. All right. See you next week. Peace oh. out, everybody. And we'll, we'll see them on the Super Spreader next Tuesday night. Well, we won't have everybody there on the Super can't have everybody on the super spreader actually it really the super spreader i keep saying it but it's going to be a great show this is the round table show if you don't know the round table number one find out what the round table is email me autotransportintel at gmail.com contact ty when i say contact i mean here let's go you can you can text him you can call him he actually answers his phone. And he answers it. If, if he's available, he answers it pretty fast. He's on the phone a lot. Call Ty. Text Ty. It's in the live chat. We want to see you on the round table. If you're upset with the rates, get on the round table. If you flipped your truck, get on the round table. If you don't want to flip your truck, get on the round table. If you're not sure, if you're doing it wrong or something you know maybe you're not doing it legal get on the round table you got something great to tell us get on the round table you got out of car hauling get on the round table i'm not kidding um everybody i want to thank you so much i want to thank murphy auto transport services thank you sue for everything you do looking for a dispatcher contact sue join us on thursdays thank you mark grodeke superflow systems dispatch center you saw mark in the second panel great information go to dispatchcenter.com thank you united road that was a really interesting uh introduction of nvta the website go nvta.org you got questions you want to know what what's the knowledge center what's the cost what's this all about contact them go to the website you can email them nvta at go nvta.org there was also a phone number. It's on the website as well. And be sure to mention ATI. I mean, you don't have to, but it might save you some money. And that's the whole point, right? Help you grow, save money, stay in business. That's what Auto Transport Intel is all about, actually. So this was show number 184. I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight. Thank you for saying hello in the live chat. Man, thank you for sticking around. Two hours, 19 minutes, one show. Every Tuesday night, we go two hours, and then uh, we're going to take her easy. We're going to throttle it down. Tomorrow is DOT compliance. Got an MC authority question, right? This is the fun stuff. F FMCSA.DOT.GOV. Good times. Clearing house, awesome. You like ELD punch? Great, because we love that on DOT compliance. Mm. Here's to you. And thank you all so much again for sticking around, staying tuned. Listen, do me a favor. And if I missed your live chat, 
You can say it again. Put it in the YouTube comments. Man, lots of great stuff. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, Eddie. Love it. The passion. Guys, and uh, with the information, remember, really, stay safe. Be careful. Watch out. I know you're doing it. I'm watching the way people drive. I don't understand it. Just let's get from A to B. We're all in business. We all have families. This is a family show. Tell your family. Share it around. Help your friend. Let me know how I can help. Stay safe. Stay tuned. And I'll see you soon. Peace out, everybody. Thank you so much.